Let's all just go to bed. That's why you shouldn't play Monopoly with mobsters. You shouldn't play Monopoly with family, really. It (laughs) it gets heated. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more mafia business. Sweet. The Sopranos. And what's going on? What happened last time? There was a tree... Tony got Carmela the permit uh-huh. to keep building the house so that she would stop thinking about Adriana. Yep. That's all you remember. Vito came back to town. Vito came back to town and got whacked. Yep. And Christopher sleeping with the real estate agent that yep. Tony liked and has fallen off the wagon and back on the wagon. And then off the wagon and then back on the wagon again, I think, yeah. is where we left it. They're, they're going to try and get clean again. Yeah. I think that's what also, Phil had a heart attack. That's right. And he's in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Tony went to see him. They were button heads big time. Yeah, they kind of... Vito getting whacked by him. They had a soft moment there. And they blew up the wire room. You think all the hatchets are buried? I think so. Well, should we jump in and see what's next? We're starting the second half. In the final season. Yeah, let's do it. 6B. Let's see how it goes. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Find commentary access to polls. Help us put watch next. Links down there. Check it out. I feel like you're far away. I feel like there's a large gap between you and I. Okay. I think it's just because the chair is bigger. You don't you feel like there's more space here now. I may mean, visually see more space here than usual, do I not? No. All right. Well, if you want to join us on social media, you can like, comment, and subscribe. No, different. You can just follow us. Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. Why did you shoot me? Yeah, I think that's at me. It's there. Uh-oh. Flashback. I don't know. It... Uh-oh. Witness. Unk. Backfilling a story now. Don't shoot yourself in the foot now. That shouldn't be registered to Tony, though. Right? No, it should be like stolen or something, right? What is that? Uh oh. Whoa. A raid at 6 a.m. Is this it? Is this it? <laughs> sure enough. Oh, damn. Anthony Soprano, mm-hmm. Detective Gaudioso, Essex County. I have a warrant for your arrest. Would you bring the whole county with you? We don't take any chances when it concerns an illegal firearm containing hollow point ammunition. What? The local PD's busting him for a stolen firearm? Tony was arrested this morning. For what? Weapons charge. It's a gun, no big deal. Hollow point ammunition, they said. If you have hollow point bullets in anything, take them out today. Hollow points are illegal in New Jersey? Mm-mm. Maybe for pistols. <clears throat> that show of force. Is that all about humiliating dad? I mean, yeah, it was probably about trying to make a point, right? Yeah. Embarrass him in his neighborhood. <laughs> he found a suit to go sit in the holding cell. Is he hovering? Yeah, you want to hover on those toilet seats. Not that I've ever been in a jail cell to know. <laughs> claims he saw my client drop that weapon. And mind you, not yesterday, but over two years ago. It's been two years? Yeah, that's a little bit... Uh... Two years ago, he's like, oh, I saw Tony Soprano drop this gun two years ago. <laughs> okay. And he's been, that kid's been firing it because we saw him fire it once. So he put the hollow points in there, obviously. Yeah. Benvenuto. Thanks. Don't listen to me. I'm a 
cranky fuck lately. Lately? Oh. Why don't you get a bike, you fat fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Drops a gat in a field somewhere three fucking years ago. Jersey. Fucking farmers, I don't know. Yeah, he's probably going down to some sheep or some shit. It's New Jersey. <laughs> Take the yellow ribbons down, everybody. Our uh, boys, come on. Woohoo. They let him out already? What she means is, in our neighborhood, people don't get out right away. In our neighborhood? He lives with her? We got the meeting with the Canadians. Tom, with these hassles, we should make it up our way here. Can he leave the state? Can you really not be aware we've been building a RICO case against Tony Soprano for five fucking years? Then you blow this popcorn fart. Oops. Oopsie. Essex County dropped the charges. I told you it was a piece of shit case. Oh, they're trying to build the Rico. <laughs> oh, National Lampoon's vacation. Have you lost some weight? I don't know, but he's wearing some short shorts. Once you're up here, pretty great. The lake is nice once you get up there. It's the drive that sucks. It's the drive that just fucking blows every time. <laughs> Gladys? Nika. No, Murgatroyd. Nika. Oh. <laughs> so I think there was a time jump. Well, I mean, obviously there was in between seasons, but I think there... Not like a huge one, though. She wasn't talking. Last time. Yeah. Because remember the carnival? All right. Maybe like a year? Yeah, I probably jumped forward a year. Be a Absolutely. Gun charge was dropped. It's my birthday present to you. Thanks, Bobby. Happy birthday. Have a gun. You just got almost charged with the gun. It's a, it's a gift. I doubt it's automatic, though. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably like August. It's probably only been like eight months. Right? Yeah, it could be. You've really changed. So I had to change. It's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, you <were> Backhanded. <laughs> That's all she gives. I'm different how. <laughs> Somehow, even with all these people around, this three-year-old child managed to fall into the pool. Nobody even noticed till finally they found him floating face down in the water. Brain dead. Four kids in one of those padded wheelchairs now. That sucks. Yeah, very parents' worst nightmare. <laughs> oh! 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 Something bad's gonna happen. Okay. And make sure you check the one by Dad's wine rack. Okay. He's having she... sex in his parents' bed. He's house sitting. <laughs> you don't want to forget to wash the sheets, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Gross. That when we were babies, everything was fine. But Ma couldn't stand that as her babies got older, they separated from her. When they started to talk and express ideas. That's when the trouble started. Is that you had opinions? <laughs> she didn't like those. I don't know. Our daughter's opinions are pretty funny. Most of the time. <coughs> I'm horrified that something's going to happen at that lake. No, come to think of it, you never popped your cherry in that regard. My pop never wanted it for me. He said there were times with all the worry. He wish he could have just stayed in the shop full time. Just cut hair. To be honest, I'd rather he fucking shot me than cut my hair. <laughs> Bad barber. <laughs> Between me and this person, there's divergent agendas. Sorry to hear. Christopher? Yeah. He's dating his real estate agent. I'm honored just to be considered. Then we'll see what happens after that. Long term. This is a good bonding moment yeah, for He's telling Bobby, Bobby that he's next in line, possibly, if he does good work. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at 
Feel the mage. Wow. I couldn't ask for more. Salud. 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 God, that would be horrible. Only when you say. Exactly. Whoever lands on free parking gets the money. You show me that in the rules. It's a house rule. You know, the Parker brothers took time to think this all out. I think we should respect that. Fuck the Parker brothers. Just play the game. <laughs> I always used to play with that house rule, too. Really? Yeah. I hate Monopoly. It takes too long. See that about everything. <laughs> Takes too long. They're all trashed. What is it? That looked like a bribe to me. You know what, Uncle Tony? Fuck the fuck out. Oh, in front of the baby. They're in the kitchen. Night, night. Seriously? Can I help you? Well, I, I want to refill my water. You don't need a refill on your water. But I'm thirsty. If you keep drinking water, you're going to have to pee. No, I'll just drink one sip and then I'll. Why don't you just get a cup out of the bathroom and take the drink out of the cup in the bathroom? Oh, but I want to do it. That's not how you get something, so. Nope. Please. Try it again. Can I have. Can you refill it in my water bottle, please? No. <laughs> but you can go get a drink out of a cup in the bathroom. Okay. I'll go. <coughs> but I'm really thirsty. Knock it off, manipulator. Get out of here. Fake cough. Great. <clears throat> Four stops. <laughs>something bad is gonna happen to this little girl i think so i just why do they keep why do they keep bringing her into the picture feels like something bad's gonna happen and anyway it's not for public consumption what? oh my god what they're driving back from manhattan with uncle june and his guma uh, boom holy shit fucking bully went right through her behind hand <laughs> Because it makes us look like a fucking dysfunctional family. If the shoe fucking fits. So did you guys look at her hair? Was it powder burns? She had a bop the next day. <laughs> Love that Carmella thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> well, I think a woman would. It's a good hair story. Second prize in a beauty contest. <laughs> Collect ten dollars. Make you a stupid joke. I got nothing to say. German Shepherd shaved asshole won first prize. Oh! <laughs> what about my wife? You married her. She's fine. <laughs> Sopranos. You go too far. <laughs> yeah, probably. Under the boardwalk, witty schlong and chants my house. Under the <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> oh god, okay. Enough's enough, boys. <laughs> oh, got a house stuck to his face. So much for your promotion, Bobby. Shit. Things just got a little out of hand here. Okay. Oh, my shoulder is killing me. Jesus fucking Christ, Tony. Is he all right? Hold it. It's got, it's got a fucking house attached to his waist. <laughs> Let's all just go to bed. That's why you shouldn't play Monopoly with mobsters. You shouldn't play Monopoly with family, really. It, can, <laughs> it gets heated. You think he's just going to wake up tomorrow and forget about this? He might. <laughs> He's pretty drunk. He might wonder what the fuck happened last night. Is he looking for the bathroom? What the fuck 
are you doing? You beat me fair and square. Come on, let's just... <laughs> you say he's going to forgive it? That's yeah, probably a... Uh, you beat me fair and square. At least four a.m. is. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. I'd be like, this fucking shirt. You should have insisted. So now it's my fault. <laughs> Go wash your face so we can leave. Maybe change your shirt, too. Besides, Tom, we have that thing later, the Canucks. It's a sin to waste food. He's going to meet with the Canadians with a black eye. <laughs> His ego's a little bruised. It's a bruised. fucking duck. It's a fucking duck. I swear, a duck just flew behind him. Yeah. That fucking throw rug hadn't have been there. Would have been Bobby on his back, not me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do you think I care? Oh, you don't, huh? <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? I don't even know your name, but I remember our eyes met. And you were blown away. I was in fucking high school. <laughs> that it will probably never fully recover from. So why don't we just face the facts? Uh. He's five years younger, taller, bigger. Yeah. Hey, T, it's me. Probably just less drunk, wish too. Belated, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you just hung up on Chris. That friendship is really soured. Four little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Ducks. We had this little tussle a year ago before my injury. This again? I'm the tiny little Budweiser. I think we both know what's what. Well, forget about it. I am. <laughs> yeah. Definitely seems like it. Where are you two going? Play some golf with some people. Oh, right. Just... That's not code for I'm going to kick Bobby's ass somewhere else, is it? I'm good. Just I should have taken a leak before we left. Do you think Tony's going to whack him? <laughs> I think Tony just scared the shit out of him. Don't tell me no. Don't you ever tell me no. She's a kid. She's definitely going to do that. My dad and the gun? <laughs> that alone was worth the price of admission. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I blew my lid. I completely exploded. Richie? That verbal diarrhea, when you got something in that head of yours, Janice, you give yourself... <laughs> For your information, Tony has never raised his hand to his children. Nothing goes on in my house. Or to me. He Hi. did, like, grab AJ by the neck that one time. One or two times. Tony is not a vindictive man. Yeah, he is. A little bit. Carmelo was right. Bobby shouldn't have sucker punched him no. to start the fight. Expiry, like uh, old. Change that date, nobody knows. Expired pills. That's tough talk, bon ami. I'm really serious. Do not your price down uh, 35 grand day and we'll see what we can do about making your sister's custody problem go away. It's probably gonna pop his cherry. You'll take care of this, right? <laughs> sure. No bow and arrows now. <laughs> nice, huh? And Bobby's just thinking about what he has to do now. Oh, yeah. You let them win. Smart. Is he going to be able to do it? He's got to go to Canada. He broke your balls about the fight, didn't he? No, we didn't. He's just stewing over what he has to do now mm -hmm. to make it right with Tony. How's he gonna do it? Not a bone arrow. Not a bone arrow. Oh, 
Uh oh. International too. What happened to its uh, piece of shit case? It is unwinnable, but folded into a Rico. It's not good. Bobby's a new man. You think? He had his magic moment. I don't know. Is he going to be able to live with himself for that? Some people don't have the stomach for that, sort of. Daughter hugs always help me get over stuff, too, though. So. I mean, you never killed a person before. That you know of. <laughs> you want to clarify that for the YouTube That was crowd? a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> Good God. In Minecraft. All right. All right. Oh. Well, uh... Tony and Bobby got in a fight. Now do you think that Bobby did what Tony had him do? That, that fight's behind him? Hopefully. Yeah. Because Tony is pretty vindictive. Mm-hmm. But what about the conversation they had on the boat about setting him up as... I mean, if Tony's a man of his word, which I think he usually is, yeah. then well, I guess see. we'll see. He is really pissed at Christopher, though. Christopher called to give him a happy birthday message and he just closed his phone instantly yeah so he didn't even say hi back i think so. it was just a bad time bad, bad time too. Yeah. yeah bad timing we didn't see christopher's reaction to that though i wonder what no he's probably like oh shit what did i do mm-hmm. yeah, well you got any other thoughts after that episode no i'm ready to roll into the next i'll watch another one yeah let's watch some more sopranos let's do it Uh-oh. Is this Rose? No. No, not Rose, but, uh... Yeah. Frankie! Where are you? It's gotta be a movie. Christopher's movie? Oh. Right, isn't that a Baldwin? Is this Cleaver? Cleaver, yeah. Ew. Which Baldwin is that? Billy? Mm, Bobby? No. Don't know. Barry? Steven? Welcome to the chop shop, QG. You can't kill me twice, Sally boy. I'm already fucking dead, remember? So it's a zombie movie? Hey, don't remember that? <clears throat> don't remember. Fuck Ben Kingsley. Danny Baldwin took him to fucking acting school. Danny Baldwin? Danny Baldwin? I didn't even know there was a Danny Baldwin. Please, you don't give two shits about production. It's a little boring, I gotta say. I mean, that was surprising to me. <laughs> I ought to hurry up and wait. Mr. Sacrimony, how are you today? Good, if he's on oxygen. Difficult to say. I have seen miracles over the years. Forget the miracles. Three months. Oh, jeez. How you doing, John? Not great. He's at a different prison now, a medical prison. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ladies, no contact. No touching. Could I bum one of those? Maybe smoking again will help? Yeah, but I might just, you know, eat the cancer away or something. <laughs> you taking a date to the screening? I can meet a normal guy, maybe. I heard that. She broke it off with Finn? Where are you going? The bathroom. Jesus. What's up, Longa's butt? You two have a fight? I don't know. He's 19. He doesn't know. <laughs> he tattooed her name on his arm. <laughs> Let me spare us the awkwardness. I killed my wife. 
Not that it's any justification. I killed her aunt, too. I didn't know she was there, Roll. And the mailman. At that point, I had to fully commit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> got a window of one to three years. We tell a patient three months, he lives a year. Who looks like a hero? I'll see you around, John. You take it easy. Hang in there. <laughs> Who do you trust? This, the I'm murdering a, doctor. Yeah, he's the, got nothing to lose, yeah. so. You'd be helping us a lot if you, uh, you let us know. I think there's a word for that. You're done. Something to keep in mind. That guy's always playing government guys. Mm hmm. He's in the uh, House of Cards. Welcome to the premiere of Cleveland. The story of a young man who goes to pieces, then manages to find himself again. <laughs> In all seriousness, however... I don't know how the review's gonna go for this. Stellar. I'm not gonna give a big speech here. I just wanna give a shout out to the man who, without him, this whole thing would be impossible. Anthony Soprano, everybody. Hey. All right, cool. Once he came on board, the whole thing... <laughs> The screenwriter really wanted a shout out. <laughs> the director doesn't even get it. <laughs> That's you. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> Tell him to put it in the trunk. talking about the movie i'm starving i need to eat something already i asked if you wanted popcorn she's starting to realize that she's dating a boy still yeah, yeah. just a complete dumbass look at this the family of early man <laughs> is he calling them a bunch of neanderthals <laughs> Brian Raleigh, U.S. Marshal Service. In terms of your bail can find you to your home, sir. Oops. That's great publicity for the movie, though. Right. It's a mob movie where right? a mobster was where busted at the premiere. Crime families, or adds authenticity to it. Mm-hmm. But all in all, we're lucky fucks. I tell myself that every day. He's only 48, though. If you're Phil Leotardo, you cannot be happy with the state of affairs, despite appearances. We're joined now via satellite from Bainbridge Island, Washington, by a jury. What? So we were discussing the apparent mob power vacuum here in New York City. Are you shocked that there's still no successor to John Sacramento? Why would they be talking about this on Geraldo? Geraldo talks about all sorts of random shit. Didn't Geraldo open up... Uh, uh, Scarface's like vault or something like that. I don't know. Or not Scarface, but uh, Capone's. And there was nothing in there. <laughs> that guy I told you about. The wife murderer? He's still a doctor, Anthony. He ah. was a highly respected oncologist. You're right. He still has the knowledge. I mean, OJ's no less of a running back, right? Allegedly. <laughs> God knows guys have actually named names for a hell of a lot less than what you were looking at. The only negative... Is that you cried when you got taken what? back yeah. to jail? I told you it never fucking happened. Well, apparently your nephew feels otherwise. It's a movie. It's fictional. It's a revenge fantasy, Tony, which ends with the boss's head split open by a meat cleaver. He's like, shit, I never thought about it that way. <laughs> now that you mention it, it's not good. Is he going to have to kill Chris now over a movie? Nah. That ball boom was pretty good, huh? He's a mean fuck. I'll give him that. And I go to play the fiance. She was hot. No, the one he was fucking. Not getting anything out of him. Still just go tight lipped. What if instead of a pair of scissors, it's a meat cleaver instead? A couple years later, you got a movie. Now, originally, Shooter I McGavin. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for <laughs> breakfast. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Without chemicals either. Hey, buddies. That's me. She's a doll. She cries a lot, though. 
The baby, not Kelly. Oh, I was gonna say the baby or Kelly. Look, seriously, think where you were just three months ago. You came into that meeting, you were so fucked up you could barely talk. It's like three months, okay. It's only been three months since Maybe it was maybe it was just a different meeting they went to. They tried a bunch and failed. It's gotta be more than three months because it was Christmas and they were at a summer house. Alright, fair enough. What? You're smoking. So Daddy, you're on oxygen. It's not on his nose right now. What's the difference? You told me Dr. Feldman doesn't agree with the others. Yeah, well. I mean the doctor didn't mind him smoking. <laughs> you right? you Should we get some more wine? It's fucking waiter on sabbatical. It's like with a Sangiovese. We had a quattro gatti. Uh, That's a really shitty assassin. Let's go. Tons of eyewitnesses had to shoot him like seven times. Still, that was an awesome way of showing that happening, though. Still just talking away and then, bam. Step up, Carmine. Get your hands around this thing. You know you got the support. It's bad for his business if there's nobody fucking leading anything in New York. That dream with my father, the empty box, it's about being boss. It's about being happy. Tony had a dream about Carmine, too. The hotel. Mm, I don't remember. You're my cousin, and I love you, Carmella, but I don't like what you're inferring here, either with the movie or with how I treated Adrian. Kelly comes out, tell her I went to smoke. Stepping on toes. Who is it? You don't answer your phone? Uh-oh. He's gonna get his ass kicked. It's bad enough that I don't get credit for my own ideas. Now I'm supposed to take responsibility for some shit that's gonna get me in trouble? Humanitas Award? What's that? Humanitas. From the Paulus Brothers. For writing themes of socially redeeming- Ow! Yikes. This guy cannot catch a break. Maybe you talk to your agent like that, but don't ever get fucking snippy on me again. <laughs> Is that Rita? It looks like Rita. I don't think it was Rita. Congratulations. I hope we're going to see some money soon. <laughs> yes. When's it premiere? In love with Crawford's girlfriend, played by Judy Holliday. The black girl, the singer. Uh, that's Billy Holiday. Judy's character in the movie is named Billy, too, so I can see why you're confused. i never seen it. Why would I be confused? <laughs> <laughs> the Sally Ball character is based on Crawford, sort of a big, burly guy. The love triangle, the cuckolding of Michael sleeping with the fiance, very similar to the Holden Holiday dynamic. Why she Chrissy? What time you were looking for? Did Tony buy it? As you realize. He's watching the movie, so probably. Yeah. He's had people killed before. Once about six years ago, there was a strike. Shut up! You ain't gonna be telling nobody nothing pretty soon. This is the image of me he leaves to the work. You always talk about him more like a son. Well, in some ways, he was. He didn't buy the... No, that guy going to say that made it validated for him what yeah. Christopher did write it. Mother. Grandma? What, Daddy? Is he hallucinating? Is he? I don't know. He could be. You want a cigarette, baby? John? Are we seeing the light? Yeah. Who knows who is Leonardo da Vinci? I mean, Maddie? Yeah, he wrote the Da Vinci Code. No. <laughs> Leonardo was a great Italian, and that was our name originally, Leonardo. But many years ago, when my grandpa came over from Sicily, they changed it at Ellis Island to Leotardo. Why did they do that for? Because they're stupid, that's why. <laughs> Proud Italian heritage and named us after a ballet costume. Darn Ellis Island always changing all the names. <laughs> Stern bad memories. My family took shit the minute we got off the boat. Come on. Fuck you talking about, Leotardo. 
That's my fucking legacy. No more Butchie. No more of this. What the fuck does that mean? Is he gonna make a play for Tony now? Is he gonna kill Christopher? Oh my gosh. This is a very uneasy ending to the episode. Yeah, Looks like Phil is taking off the gloves. Yeah, he's out to out for blood. And then Tony and Christopher's hugging but side glancing. Yeah, there's a tiff there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is not good. During a baptism too. The yeah. Godfather implication was there. Mm-hmm. Oof. What's on your mind after the way that ended? I'm worried about lots of people. Yeah. Well, Mostly York's Christopher are, and Tony. And New York's already in chaos with that hit that went down with Sil was at dinner. Yeah, exactly. So maybe Phil's back on the... He's like, okay, I'm going to take the... No, I think he's just figures... Go the, yeah. Figures crazy. nobody's here to reprimand me, so... He's going to do his own thing? Yeah. So who's going down? I don't know. He's going to take out Christopher, you think? He made it sound like Christopher... Or Tony. Yeah. Somebody important to Tony. Blood for blood, so it'd be like Christopher's the closest thing to a son, brother, and yeah, something like that. cousin he's got. He never got to take Tony B out himself. So. Right. Hmm. All right. Well, Either way, it doesn't, doesn't look good for New Jersey. No. I kind of want to watch Cleaver now. Totally. Yeah? Sounds amazing. Should put it on the list. Absolutely. React to it for our channel. Mm-hmm. I don't think it actually exists. No kidding. What was your guess on the uh, Cleaver box office? Do you think it did all right? Yeah, probably like forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. I don't know. <laughs> you think it made a couple million at the box office? I have no idea. I mean, it's got a Baldwin brother in it. So it's got to have made something. Danny Baldwin, right? I don't know if I've ever seen I a movie with Danny Baldwin. In didn't it. know Danny Baldwin existed, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah. Hmm. Who's your favorite Baldwin brother? Um, Stephen, the one in 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 uh, Biodome. I think so. Stephen. Stephen Baldwin. He's my favorite too. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite Baldwin brother? Yeah. My favorite Baldwin brother is the one that's not a Baldwin brother. It's the guy that played Firefly. And Firefly. Yeah. <laughs> he's not a Baldwin brother, but he's got a Baldwin last name. So he's my favorite Baldwin brother. Of course. I can't remember his first name. Isn't it Billy? I can't remember his first name. No, it's not Billy. Billy Baldwin's an actual Baldwin brother. I know. I thought it was he had the same name as a Baldwin brother. No. no, I can't remember it. Whatever. Yeah. Let us know your favorite Baldwin. There you go. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another two episodes. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. For only commentary access to polls helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. DVD. That never occurred to me. It's still in theaters. Probably straight to video. Yeah. It's got a Baldwin in it. Yeah. A non Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more mafia business with the Italian family. The Sopranos. I love them. What's going on? Do you remember what happened last time on The Sopranos? Mm -mm. They went to the lake. That's right. That's right. Tony beat up Bobby. Oh, Bobby, Bobby beat, beat up, beat up Tony. Tony. Rather, yeah. <laughs> Bobby won the fight. And then, in order to like put that right, Bobby had to kill had someone. To pop make his, his cherry. Yeah, make his first kill. Yeah. Ooh, after bummer. that, it was kind of an episode. Like it was really building up. Phil. Took off the gloves because Johnny His Sack brother. died. Oh yeah, from cancer. That was most of the episode. I was dealing with Johnny Sack, and then he was memorializing Johnny Sack and his he's brother. Thinking about his brother, and then he got and pissed off at Tony again. Yeah, he's like for the Tony B situation. This is my legacy. You know.
He's, yeah, we he's think gonna go we think he's going to go after Tony or something. Yeah, he's going to go. Tony or Christopher, right? One of the postal two. Postal on everybody. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I can't wait to figure out what goes on. Yeah, should we jump in and check out what's next for The Sopranos? Heck yes. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Sopranos. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, for like commentary, access to polls, to people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. We have it. If you do, you can join us. Yeah. If you don't have it, you don't. Do, do, don't join us. Thanks. Let's watch The Sopranos. Let's do it. You when you make fun of me. Thank you. <laughs> Polly looks like he's got a mission. Tony's like happy to see him, and then he's like, all of a sudden, wait, why is he here? Feds are doing some digging over by Brantford Avenue. Willie Overall, the bookie, Labor Day, nineteen eighty-two. Oh, literally some digging. A lot of work for that fucking bookie. <laughs> Come on, kid, do it. Is that Tony's first kill? Is that his first or... kill? What are we gonna do? We're gonna pack our toothbrushes. Go on a vacation? Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like I want a trip to Paris. He's on the lamb. Does he just have the same pair of shoes like five times? One pair for each day of the week. Hey, I understand when you find a pair that you like, you buy multiples, you know? A little gambling charge, that's all. It's gonna be fine. It's just, you know, better safe than sorry. A little gambling charge. My tomatoes are just coming in. Dang, bad timing. What do you hear from my nephew? Tony? They sent me a card for my birthday. I'm still waiting for an apology. Tell him. All right. For- you <laughs> shot him, dude. What trick? We meet you there and sneak you up in our car. You try to escape? You will just go to prison, right? Yeah. Here's the electrician, Junior. He's still getting cash. They're all so old. <laughs> How are they still in this game? Don't let him take my plate, kid. What's Miles doing there? Trying to find somebody to rob? <laughs> Lost reference. I mean, all these old guys probably know somebody that's dead. Make sure there's enough so everybody can buy in. Sixty dollars. The sodas and fucking candy? Caffeinated sodas and sugar. You know some of them ain't allowed this shit. Those pops worth sixty dollars. Plus we got Snickers, Kit Kats, and Sprees. Also five. Uh, I'll take some Sprees. I prefer shock tarts over Sprees. I love a good shock tart. Mm-hmm. I don't like they. They don't make those anymore, do they? No, there's something else. They're they're like sweet tarts, sours now. Yeah, sweet tarts, sours, Pfft, shock tarts is where it was at. Where are they going? Florida. Must be. Cause she said, "Wear your sunscreen." Andy Sack, you made a crack about Ginny. You fucking mole on her ass or some shit. Yeah. Who the fuck would tell Johnny about that joke? How should I know? Flush. No, you don't, George. <laughs> Barry Jacks. Guy comes home with a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> He's got a really good poker face. <laughs> At least some of us know when we need help. Get the fuck out of here, you. This was made enemies. What did the blind man say when he passed the fish market? I don't know. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> Gross. <clears throat> Corrado, it's too stressful. Look at him. He's not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> he's just laughing at the jokes he's not laughing he's crying some people don't get jokes you did a good job tonight kid here's your taste is it buttons yeah take it you earned it 
those buttons turn into actual money at any point in time? You can buy sprees with them. Five buttons. Can I get a uh, Kit Kat at least? Do you believe this guy? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I love a Kit Kat. Give me a break. I got a 96 on my spelling test. Highest mark in the class. I was so proud. I brought it home to show my dad. What happened to the other four points, he says. Fuck you! Fuck you! He's got some anger. Anger buried deep inside there. Yeah. You shouldn't be so hard on Charlie on her spelling test either. I am kind of a pain in the ass about the spelling test, huh? Why well, can't she remember which witch to spell? Like, I tell her that witch is broom, like a witch. A witch. Yeah. <laughs> she said W I C H T. I was like, close, but no. Who's Van? They're incognito. There was a motel on this spot, though, right? The Haven Air? I don't know. <laughs> All right, a couple of steaks in. With baked potatoes. Wraps and salads only after 11. Ew. Uh, Buckingham's is still open, though. You could get some nachos. Yeah. Wraps and salads after 11. Anything that doesn't have to be cooked. Mm -hmm. Chef's gone home. Two for two, I thought. Maybe you know him. What's his name? Bonnie Fife. Pow! <laughs> the prick gives me a shot. I don't know what the fuck hit me. Your dad's fucking pissing himself. I mean, I never watch TV. I don't fuck the wine, right? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What? We're supposed to be laying low. I'm gonna grab some Danish for the road. Paul, Paulie's just a social guy. Some Danish? Damn. You mean all the Danishes? Right. <laughs> they have me on some new medication. It makes me salivate. I have this new medication they put me on. Makes me salivate. Move along. Or if he killed his dad. I know, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Like, he must have killed his dad, huh? Dr. Mandel says you've been acting aggressively toward other patients. Dr. Mandel feels you're modeling your actions on the wrong people. Really? Like who? You know who. That gangster. I don't think Junior's a good influence on him. No shit. Junior's not a good influence on anybody. <laughs> the feds found a body. A skeleton. They tentatively ID it as a guy. Oh, fuck. How the feds know that Tony killed that guy? I don't know. Like, why would he even be a suspect? No. Especially oh, from somebody, the 80s. Somebody told the story or somebody yeah. um, snitched, right? Dear Vice President Cheney, as a powerful man all too familiar with accidental gunplay, I am writing in the hope that you will interview... <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping to get a presidential pardon. What do you do with those, Jamil? Autograph pictures of the man who kept Tony Soprano? She, them motherfuckers go right on eBay. People are buying autograph pictures of Corrado. Can't imagine many. Where's the DVD? That never occurred to me. It's still in theaters. Probably straight to video. Huh? Yeah. It's got a Baldwin in it. Yeah. A non Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Pinto took that in 1963. Look at that hair. Mm. <laughs> Still the same. You were going to make an appointment? You sneak me off. Where would I lamb it? Mm, the safe house. I don't know. The time's not right. I'm being watched. Call back later. He doesn't really have any connections on the outside to set up a safe house. No. Is even better than what you see in the catalog. I decided I wanted something where it's my own boss. Plus, he's living the dream. Oh. Watching fucking Antiques Roadshow, eating a Kit Kat bar, drinking some tea. Oh, yeah, it sucks as the smell. <laughs> Want to talk about stand-up guys? Sorry, Beats. He can't stand up. Sit down, guys. That's where that hippie kid mysteriously drowned during that party. <laughs> He's like, this guy's talking way too fucking much. Remember when it's the lowest form of conversation. 
Oh, that's a burn. It's hurting Polly's feelings. I told Tommy DeLeo, you're the boss now. This fucking DeLeo construction has always been a problem. Your taste. That's Patricia. You mind? God. Rude. Eating off his plate. Just, you're getting put on his list. Right? He's, he's like. He's just making a hit list. Yeah. yeah. Checkers, the thinking man's game. You're looking for a smack in the fucking mouth? <laughs> Corrado, language please. You're only tough when there's an authority figure nearby so things don't go too far. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Corrado! Ah! Ah! Get him! Get him! How do you want that? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna write a change order for Sopranos meds. <laughs> that guy started it. No, oh, back to his extracurricular activities, I see. I just stabbed myself with that pretzel. Right in the face. <laughs> Welcome on back to you mean the boobies. Bully. Right. What is he like, your best friend? I just figured the way he was talking. He, he used to work for my dad. I know, he told me. <laughs> what else did he tell you? No love from Dick Cheney. I can't focus. Just give it some time. You'll feel a lot better and your memory will improve too. Are they sedated him now? Pretty much. <laughs> They're trying to numb you out. Because of what you did to the professor. Great. Put that in his mind. Don't forget it. Uh-oh. What the fuck is this? Waiting long. So everybody come tonight except Charo? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you get 5% after sale, but that's going to involve a little trust. We're looking for a long-term relationship. Right? We'll be calling. OK to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he showed some respect to Polly, right? Yeah. Called him uncle. Stop fucking pushing! Yo, stop bumping dickheads out there! Now who's a bad influence? Well, he's just looking at it. That was probably Corrado's plan. Well, no, I mean... <clears throat> you distract him and I'll dump my pills. Oh, man. Painting me in his house. I was all dressed up like a fucking general. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking joke. I don't think it was. No, he loved that painting. I love him too. You know, Tony's wondering if he's a snitch. He's just worried that he would easily turn into a snitch because yeah. he talks so easily. Jackie April. What? You heard me. Larry told him J.A. was solely responsible for it. Well, time to go home. Three's company. The horse says, last year I raised over 5,000 cocks. <laughs> How does he remember all these fucking jokes? A different part of his memory. Just wait till we take the pacifier out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm an old man. It was an accident, for Christ's sake. You're on Ditropan, specifically to avoid incontinence. Not to mention Selexa, which should be curtailing your aggressiveness. You can either wear Depends while you wait transfer to another facility, or you can take your medication as prescribed. Oops. I prefer oops, I crap my pants anyways. There's no cause a commotion! He doesn't want to piss his pants in front of everybody anymore. Uh, Give him a break. He's not Miles Davis. 
<laughs> your pants is cool. Consider me Miles Davis. Maybe tomorrow, kid. I don't know. I'm tired. Friendship's over. Mm. Oh, you're supposed to say whole, Beansy. <laughs> yeah. Last time he was on the boat was when he killed Pussy. I think it's been that long, yeah. Sorry, yep. Polly worried or bad memories? I don't think bad memory. Oh, oh no, maybe he thinks he's gonna be. Tony's yeah. taking him out to sea? Yep. Sleep with the fishes. Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that, but that is what his face looks like. Like, oh, shit. Is he getting rid of me right now? I brought you these from Keith. He owed me money. Hootie and the blowfish. <laughs> Love Hootie. You're very smart, Anthony. I'm sure you're very Oops. good with spelling, too. What the fuck? See, so much for his memory pills. Is he thinking he's Tony? He's treating him like Tony? He's thinking he's Tony? Made a whole fucking Italian meal in the boat? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, the boat is rocking. A joke, Ralph. Made about her. That was some funny shit. No matter what John said. That have a sense of humor, right? Yeah. Oh, it's making me nauseous just watching a boat rock like that. No offense, but you ever had yourself checked for Tourette's? What? It's making me nervous. I, I can hardly watch this fucking... I think that's on purpose, too. It makes you feel so uneasy. Yeah. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm gonna puke. I mean, as much as I dislike Polly sometimes, I don't think he needs to Die. Think fast. Jesus. Oh, fuck that hurt. <laughs> Tony is really thinking about it too. Shenandoah River. Older than the trees. Country road. <laughs> Take me home. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, Country Road. Oh, jeez. father figure turned on him. Yikes. I think he did kill his dad. Oh, jeez. When my time comes, tell me. Will I stand up? Oh, jeez. It's a dark fucking dream. Are they home or still in Miami? He's home. This is like $2,000. What is wrong with that man? What's wrong with him? Is this Nothing. a thank you for not killing me sort yeah, of I think gift? that was the dream, like, him telling me, like, oh, shit, I gotta butter Tony up a little bit. I was, he's got a bad feeling. He's hoping that takes it away. Shouldn't have ate off his plate. Shouldn't have ate off his fucking plate. Wow. Acting boss of New York, right? Did they just kill the was acting boss him? of New York? I thought he was... I thought Phil said, you're the boss now, right? That went quick. Phil. Take this money down to Old Caruso on the corner and put it all against the Jets. My brother was just recovering from rheumatic fever. He's making it hard for him. Yeah. It's Corrado, right? That was an odd episode. It was yeah. a very poly centered episode and back to Corrado. Yep. Mm. And it looks like Phil is... The new boss. He, he said he didn't want to be the boss and now right. he's the boss again. Mm -hmm. He keeps just killing people. So, holy shit. Tony was that close to off of Polly too. Mm-hmm. Yep.
He's just tired. And he's still like, God just, damn it, he won't shut the fuck up. Still, he just doesn't want to listen to Polly. Tired hmm. of listening to his damn stories. All his stories. I mean, what it means he was saying was, I mean, that's all he's so got. He doesn't have anybody. Yeah. Nobody to listen to, to his stories, but these guys, but you know. his family, right? Oh, boy. Well, what's on your mind after that episode? Uh, it was an interesting one. I mean, the Polly stuff. It's kind of like a... Didn't go anywhere. Just yeah, went it was just make Polly. that whole scene was just the Polly and like Tony the, dynamic. The camera work there making it so you were rocking the boat. It was like more rocky. I felt like it was rocking more on one mm. side than the other. I don't know. It made me want to puke. That's all I know. So it was like making it. It was like smoother. I feel like when it was on Polly, it was smoother because he wasn't really uneasy about anything. No, that I think it Tony was just was rocky, rocking because he was trying to decide what to do with him. Could be. I don't know. Just made me peaky. Yeah. I think that was on purpose, too, though, to make you feel queasy and uneasy about... Well, I still might, feel nauseous, so... What might, but didn't happen. So right. it worked great. So, yeah. Anything else on your mind? Or should we jump into the next episode? Let's jump into the next one. All right. Let's watch more of The Sopranos. Why are you shooting me? I was just that way. Not at you. Right at me. I'm better than you. Don't hit one straight up. Fine. 66-10, going out. Well, take it a play. Uh, let's play it. 23. What? And all around. You fucking kidding? What? All right, one more time. Come on, come on. Do it again. What? Come on, Come on. Is it? Come on, get out, 23. Come on. Oh, oh. 11. Oh. What? I mean, what is the likelihood of hitting 23 again? It's the dumbest fucking move ever. Didn't he just say that he was having gambling problems? Yeah. Like he was losing? Timber, motherfucker. <laughs> What's going on in the cemetery? What's that have to do with the episode? Mm -hmm. What can I do? It's little V. The social worker says uh, he's just acting out. Vito's oh, little Vito's. boy. I didn't recognize him. Me either. They claim he hung the Petruzzo's cat on their garage door. Oh, jeez. For a hundred thousand, we could be someplace where no one knows him or what happened. My friend Cheryl lives in Orono, Maine, by the university. You always said if there's anything you could do. She wants a hundred thousand dollars? Okay, but you'll think about it? Believe me, I'm gonna take care of you and he's gonna be okay. He's like, I don't have that kind of money. So he's gonna go talk to Phil about it? hundred K for a change of scenery. Yeah, it never works. You should get him a dog. <laughs> He'll hang the dog from the garage. Point is, how the fuck is this my problem? Because hmm? I'm a boss of the family? Exactly. You mean the boobies. Sure beats Buffalo Wild Wings on Sunday. Probably want $35 down there. <laughs> Didn't they film that football scene just for this show? Yeah. He's got an issue. Shouldn't have let it ride. Beautiful, sweetheart. Nancy Sinatra, everybody. What's going on here? Is like. Oh, Sinatra's daughter? I don't know. What kind of event is this, though? Just his inauguration. See what happens. Oh, it's a good little movie. All right. Tony's giving out a lot of stink eye right now. Mm -hmm. See me, she wants a hundred grand to relocate on account of Vito Jr. Already has his own social worker. Patty told me there was doings. I guess the Terry doesn't fall far from the <laughs> test. It's beautifully put. <laughs> how, the, how the fuck are you? Fucking mm. prostate keep me pissing all night. I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Needs another loan. Actually, uh, I was expecting something else. What the fucking DVD? No, it's money. Stop it. I don't gotta have it. I don't want to dig from you. Nah, come on. I should have been on it. 
Tommy's having money problems. Oh, yeah. What's that chiseling starts? Who I forgot? Who forgets? Fuck him. <laughs> you know, good money after bad. Why not just stop? Big part of my life. Should have cashed out with the $66,000, dumbass. Well, you lose sometimes. <laughs> well, you lose most of the time. But no, there are protocols that have to be followed. Or I won't be able to continue. She mean just stop skipping sessions? Mm-hmm. Uh, these are our cousins Hugh and Carmela. Hey, they're, yeah. uh, they're also the builders. Oh, great. <laughs> Super. Family. Hopefully they don't open the wall to see that it's built with pine. What the hell's wrong with you? you? Look like a Puerto Rican whore. Make me sick. <laughs> what she's been through? How you're upsetting her? She's just embarrassed. Yeah, very embarrassed. Finish that thing. There's no eating in the car. It's a big shake, too. That's a second one. <laughs> Fryn and Janine must be so happy. I hope so. Just a two? It's big, right? It's a mansion. They have a baby on the way. What does that look? I don't know. Have you looked outside? Oh, Jesus, Melly. I'm not losing any sleep. Is there going to be massive leaks upstairs now? Or the roof's going to cave in or something. Tony's not going to hurt you. Yeah. You've seen how these Italians work. For the most part, it's okay. Get them cornered. We're dealing with nothing. He owes a debt he can't pay, so yeah, he well, might try to kill him. Kill you now? I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> At what point is it cheaper for him to settle it another way? <laughs> exactly. Uh oh. You know how to enjoy things with kings and queens. Cash out now. And they don't even know about it. Oh, no. Cash out now. Yeah, smart move. You always always cash out when the dealer changes. I've never bet gambled in Vegas, but I know you always leave when the dealer changes. Hmm. Meadow Gold in the fifth. I gotta do that. Three minutes to post. It's his daughter's name. I have such a hard time with gambling. I just, uh, I just don't understand. I'm not a risk taker, so. Once you feel that win, though. Mm. What's your problem? Not that I'm excited. What do you want? All right, they're running. It's a chariot race. Uh oh. Swelligant and metal gold, and it's Swelligant. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Pass out, because you're an idiot. Well, he's not passing out. Madam, you deserve Adding on or nothing? I ordered for you. Oh, he's, in, he's proposing. Look, I love you. I love you too. So marry me then, or we'll have kids. And you always say you want Hector to have brothers and sisters. Okay. You want a yes, not an okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. I still can't believe you said okay to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. You go about in pity for yourself. What about your mother? What about what she's been through? What am I supposed to do about it? Look, your dad's gone, okay? You're the man of the house now. Start fucking acting like it. I feel like that statement meant something to Tony's generation, but means very little to his generation. Yeah. Who do you think talk went over better? Those are Phil's, though. I don't think either one went over well. Yeah. So how much in the end? All in. Well, uh, if it must be close to six. Oh. <laughs> you know what you should do? You should take a chunk of that and put it on the Jets. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never been on the Jets. It's a short thing. Celia, she works at the Bing. She's got a sister. And she says that the Chargers QB has a hairline fracture in his right leg. And even Vegas doesn't know about it. Win for cash. This is the kind of shit you play with. It's the kind of stuff he's already lost. You got an issue here, buddy? Let's 
It's all right. It's just I thought this was my money. You're right. You're right. Is she going to bet something now? I don't know. I don't like owing people. Ugh, this makes me, this whole episode is making me so uncomfortable. You owe me. I owe you what? You'll figure it out. Should put us up to date. Listen, I can't take this. Give it all to me whenever you can. You're going to do this every time? So $9,000 off of the 200 that he owes. Perfect, yeah. Totally making headway. I mean, you believe this fucking guy? You tell him to go fuck himself for his 200K. No, you shouldn't. Not pay my debts. Head of the family. How's that gonna look? Gonna Looks go? real shitty. Don't do it. Just tells everybody else that they don't need to pay their debts either. It's a horrible look. Shot. Maybe you should start sucking cock instead of watching TV land. Because Vito bought in three times what you do on construction. <laughs> I fucking damn it! It's good, right? If he had money on the game, which he didn't. Never think I might know what I'm doing! No, you don't. Back there's your shitty businesswoman who built a piece of shit house that's gonna cave in and kill that fucking unborn baby any day! Jesus. Fuck yourself! When I'm gone, you're gonna live in a fucking dumpster for all I care! Good God, Tony, what the fuck? That looks expensive, too. Ain't nobody dropped the soap. Spazzle fuckwits in the house. <laughs> hey, you can see his pussy. <laughs> Ew. Oh, oh. Jesus, what's wrong with you? He stepped in it! Oh, gross! He shit in the shower! That's weird. It's not gonna help his situation at all. Now, without school, Maurice says he's shut in his room all day. Probably thinking about how to pull a columbine. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. Oh, my God. And I'll tell you what, I will never, never forget that he didn't come through here. Never. This is good of you, Tone, helping Marie. I'll always remember it. He doesn't have any money. <laughs> all right, let's go. I gotta swim. His bosses need to start earning more. <laughs> Must be like a... Puerto Rican Pride event or something. Hey, hey, Jesus, you gotta work early. I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, what's the matter? What's this? She's leaving. Your clothes. Oh, I just did laundry a couple days ago. It's not laundry. Oh. Why? I mean, I love you. I love you too, and I don't know. Maybe I don't. All I know is I just don't feel it. Ouch. That was the motivation he needed, too. Was A woman. Yeah. Now he's going to turn into a piece of shit again. And the backup kicker? He's right out of college. Against Philly. Too good to be true. Keep the money. If I win, uh, Marie Spatafore gets a free ride at end show. Christopher's <laughs> like... Good for you. Why doesn't someone say, no, nah, don't do it, you dumbass? Even tragedy, unable to stop Miami. Final score, Miami 21, Philadelphia 7. You get special Kicker's really not that big of a deal if they're scoring touchdowns. No kidding. This is camp in Idaho, and they handle kids like him. Idaho? You know, like tough love, you know? And they're in Utah and Idaho because state law allows them to strike the kid. <laughs> There's no geographical solution to an emotional problem, Marie. Maine, wherever. Send him out of Hey, Tom, isn't that the... What's their names? Used to hang out at the bank. Oh, he knows they're Muslims now, huh? He always knew that. Did he? I don't know. I think he's thinking about informing the feds of oh. suspicious hmm. activity or something. I don't know. Leading Dallas to a 109 108 victory over the visiting San Antonio Spurs. A he's betting on basketball now, too. Betting on everything, because he's an idiot. Tom, I swear to you, you're not going to be like Jeannie. 
I've been real good about that. And frankly, it's not going to happen to us. And I hate that you go around acting all the time like it will. It absolutely could happen to them. What would you like for breakfast? Hmm? She dead? <gasps> Renata. Oh, shit. Renata. Oh, Renata. 911, what's the emergency? <laughs> oh, God. Heart attack? Oh, uh, I brought your money. Sorry for your loss. That's a weird fucking way to end it. Uh, took his his wife dying for him to get his money back. I feel like Tony probably took it out of uh, a hidey hole to. Which is what he should have done in the beginning with. Yeah. Shouldn't have even asked for it from him. What's on your mind? I was not a fan of this episode. No. Because of the gambling? Yeah, it made me extremely anxious the whole time. Well, at least he told Carmella he's got a problem and he's having a losing streak. I guess. The first step is admittance. <laughs> All right. I'm betting you have a problem. Yep. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, he's losing a lot. Yeah. The one time you want to bet on the Jets and you don't do it. He did. He won twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, but he wanted to bet like a hundred, yeah. two hundred fifty thousand, right? One hundred fifty thousand, probably three hundred. Because she sold the house for six, six hundred thousand, probably. He said he wanted to bet, uh, bet his half on it, right? A piece of his half. So, mm-hmm. well, AJ is single again. Yeah, feel bad for him. And he was like getting his shit together, had the motivation, mm-hmm. the drive. And he was just too young for her. Yeah, but that all goes down the toilet. Yeah. So what do you expect the next time you see AJ? What's he going to do? Total shit show. Lost his job again already. Yeah, probably. Back living in his parents' house. Yeah. Sucks. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, this was fun. Yeah. Well, it looks like he, I mean, the, it seems like the family is having money issues since Vito got whacked. Yeah. And well, the captains, yeah, yeah, they don't seem to be like, like earning the much. F- episode before, he was talking about how Polly only has Barone, Barone and mm-hmm. that's coming to an end soon with the whole cell, right? So, like, <laughs> what are his captains doing? I don't know. Nothing, clearly. Yeah. yeah. Turn this around. Meanwhile, Phil's uh, the boss again in New York. He saw the different kind of... Co- Tony was a little softer with Vito's son than Phil, but not, neither of their talks... No, resonated. Right, so. Wrong generation to have that talk and have it be successful, I think. Didn't you go to one of those camps in Idaho? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, what should people comment on? Maybe we should ask people what their lottery numbers are so we can play them. I don't play at the lottery. Well, if they give us good lottery numbers, maybe we should. You always got to take the sure thing. That's what we learned from Tony today. Ah, uh, yes. The lottery. Yeah. That's the sure thing. What lottery numbers do you always play? There you go. Let us know in the comments below. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come we'll back next week. let you know week. if we win anything. Yeah. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Full link to copy and access to polls. Helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Where's she going? Vegas. Have you ever been to Vegas? I've been at the airport. No, I've never been to Vegas. Mm -hmm. I've never gambled in Vegas. I've only been twice. And both times just to watch Celine Dion. So... (laughs) Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more mafia business with the Sopranos. Sweet. What's going on? What happened last time on the Sopranos? Do you remember? Uh, AJ got broken up with. Yep. That's the first thing you go to. <laughs> AJ. Such a consequential character. Yep. He got he got uh, most broken Im- up with. Most important member of the family. Mm-hmm. Honestly, that's all I remember. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Well, Polly and Tony went down to Miami. Yeah. We thought Polly might get whacked there. Yeah. Tony was really thinking about it. I think Polly was also thinking about it. I was like, is this the end? Yeah, exactly. I think uh, he just really annoys Tony sometimes. Yeah.
That's unfortunate. And he's wondering how big of a he's, mouth this is. Yeah, exactly. Have. He's wondering if he can trust him because yeah. he just tells a lot of stories. Yeah, if he ever got busted, how much would he? I mean, he's he had that one season where he was in county for a while, though. Mm-hmm. So he served his time. He didn't talk. But he did talk about the joke, but he denied that. He's got lots of stories, but I don't think at the end of the day, like if it was like the FBI came to him and said, "You don't think he'd be a rat?" <laughs> yeah, he, no, I don't think he'd rat up. Also, in New York, Phil made moves, killed all sorts of people. Yeah, killed yeah. the boss he to just become keeps killing the boss. People. So yeah, they had Nancy Sinatra show up and they mm-hmm. swore him in as the new boss. Yep, somebody's gonna have to kill him. Yeah. So what's next? Go to the mattresses. Going to the mattresses. I mean, Tony and the Soprano family were at his mm-hmm. little inauguration party, so yeah. seems like all things are okay. Mm. So yeah. Save and face. Let's see what's next. Let's jump into the Sopranos. First, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Sopranos. We're getting close to the end here. Yeah, we got like three more nights of this. So Sad. check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. We'll link the commentary access to polls. Help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. So Twitter and Instagram. So if you like those, you can uh, follow us. Still have them. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. Let's watch The Sopranos. Here we go. When you woke up this morning, what'd you get? Uh, I got breakfast ready for the girls. <laughs> Woke up this morning, man. Waffles for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> then you got your gun. Right. I wonder if Sutri Alley's is a real place. If it is, we gotta go. Yeah. If it's still open. I gotta get me the gabagool. Uh-huh. We're going to New Jersey just to go get some pork. A pork sandwich. Well, we've never seen that mural on the wall yeah, before. Is that above their bed? Yeah. Like all initiative night again. I know this is hard for you to believe, but food may not be the answer to every problem. Well, Nita was acting like a whiny little bitch. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Real bad for me. What the fuck? Why you gotta take it out on us? He's gotta find his Carmella. Yeah. Good. You're coming Sunday, yeah. right? Two o'clock, she said. Yes, yeah, for you. Tell your friend Paulie to keep these power tools coming. Power tools from Miami are working out. Nice. Almost as nice as those bada bings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'd prefer a Makita. Makita miter saw sounds pretty good. Disgrace. Now I'm sober and I'm a drip. The fuck you want from me? That's about being normal. That's so fucking hard. I... <laughs> For him, yeah. It's very hard. For some of us it is. I don't get <laughs> I'm breaking your balls. Don't get <laughs> tea, is what he said. <laughs> That's what I say to you every day. Yeah. Breaking too many balls, Polly. Oh, he just saw those uh, guys from the Bing walk into the... Mm-hmm. Is he going to report them? I mean, not, they weren't doing anything but walking around. The point is, they used to be around all the time, these two. You know, drinking and trying to tit-fuck the girls, whatever. And then suddenly they disappear. And I mean completely. A week or so ago, I'm driving, and I see him with these other guys. But there's nothing illegal there, right? What were they doing? Walking. But then they meet up with this other group. And... Walking to, like, a worship, to worship at a mosque or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like They're walking around. It was very Going suspicious. to church, heaven forbid. <laughs> Cell phone. That's a real prize. Thank you. They could have, like, met a girl and, like, I can't go to the strip club anymore. <laughs> oh, like, meeting me for coffee is such a big deal? Honestly, I don't even think it's a good idea anyway. How come? Because last time you started crying and had to leave the Starbucks. <laughs> oh, AJ. 
It's the first time he's ever been dumped. Oh, jeez. Save it for when you're in your car. <laughs> Block her still. All right, that's it. Enough's enough. He's getting him laid. He's going to get him laid? Take him to the bing with him? Yeah. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. He loves real deep. Never felt that before. He also loved the kid, too. That's probably the hardest part. Go ahead and get a blowjob. I don't want a blowjob. Keep your voice down. This mom's going to think I'm going to offer you one. I love you, Anthony. It's killing me to see you like this. What's the fucking point? You got to rip the bandaid off. <laughs> Get a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I know AG's going through. What? What are you talking about? I had the bruise before I met you. Okay. What Tony was just talking about. Sure. Oh, we all been there. <clears throat> Jeez. It's a lot of meat. You okay, T? Having a good time? Yeah. He's like, yeah, why are you talking to me? She's been wanting to get her teeth wet with the entertainment. Good thing. Else I'd never see you. See, this is the universe telling me I need a new barbecue grill. I am not against you getting a new barbecue. I don't know why you keep bringing it up to me like you're trying to convince me that you need one. I'm trying to convince myself that it's okay to spend the money to buy a Traeger. <laughs> Christmas is... Two months away. I gotta get it before Christmas. I need it before Thanksgiving. Oh. I got big plans for a smoked turkey. Al, this is a big fucking mix-up. I thought Paulie called you. The guy's wait. He'll take care of you. Don't worry. Let me talk to my son-in-law. Chris, fine by me. But if I were you, I wouldn't make a problem where there ain't one. These guys are lying to him, yeah? Is he related to... Is that Chris's girl's dad? So that... I don't know. All right, who put this song on the radio? <laughs> All right, I quit. What'd you do there? If Dale calls, just tell him I'm sorry. But you're the manager. You're the manager. <laughs> it's like, you're my boss. Well, this always helps. Ooh. God bless the NFL. <laughs> Probably bet on the Jets a couple weeks ago. <laughs> He set his mother up with a whole website for her ceramics business. Well, you must be very proud. Believe me. Come on, try and get AJ to go to college. Yeah. Get some ideas. AJ, go back to college. And you're part of the business. <laughs> How's records? You see those envelopes? Major in cash, minor in an ass. <laughs> oh, check it out. Jeez. She's almost as good as you at the splits. <laughs> you wish I could do the splits. I can't even touch my toes. <laughs> the fuck, Paulie? I left the four messages. My flight was delayed. I just got home. I oh, Paulie did do it. It was when you're going to pay me. When you suck the money out of my ass. Now get the fuck out. Oh. They boosted a pallet of power saws. They did? Yeah. Not exactly. I'll caught them while they were there. Go have a live Ricky or whatever the fuck it is you're drinking these days, and we'll be done in a few minutes. It's not great management. You kind of got to listen to them when they're losing their shit like that. Yeah. I told you about that girl Hadley in my dorm sophomore year. The one who threw herself off the library balcony. These are the exact kind of things she was saying. I don't mean to get you all upset. It's just... No, of course mm. not. I'm glad you said something. Good luck sleeping. <laughs> this therapy is a jerk off. You know it, and I know it. <laughs> it's a jerk off. Yes, you've said that. <laughs> Carmelo's getting a referral from his own pediatrician. Wow. After that incompetent you said Meadow to? <laughs> have you talked to him? Till I'm blue in the face. We both have. 
and now we're afraid to talk to him because of what he might do. That's like the exact opposite of what you should like, should be talking to him more. It's like when they're little and they get sick. It's helpless. You'd give anything in the world to trade places with him so they don't have to suffer. I feel like he needs to say some of those stuff to uh, AJ. Mm -hmm. But I can promise you I'd have more money in my pocket plus more responsibility if I sat with him drinking. Chris isn't happy with Tony right now. Tony's not happy with him. Mm. Oh, whoa, that's Ooh, Hellfighters. John Wayne. Love that movie. She was out of my life. Fine, but he never appreciated it. I think that's when the relationship between me and him got poisoned. Speaking a little bit too much about it to people mm. not in the family. What's your name? Uh, me? Uh, uh, Mike. Paulie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Al. It's Paulie. Listen, we're here with Mike. We're going to take the drills. I'll call you later about that other order. Huh? <sighs> Mike doesn't know what's up. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I wish there was a reason, but she says there isn't. Your age, that's the reason. I think maybe it's because we have way more money in my family than hers. They're immigrants. She did seem offended about a lot of that stuff every time they were having dinner. And the age There's difference. Big cultural differences there. Yeah. I'm not really good with betting. The percentages, I got like a 450 on my math to SAT. <laughs> Can I dance for you, baby? I guess. I guess, if you have to. The only math you need to be good at in here is 32 double Ds. What? I apologize for him. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Toilet paper? Fucking Oh, 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 Yowch. Oopsie. Might be the last straw for Chris. What? You let our underage son go to a party at a strip club? <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> he is still drunk, and he's not even drinking age. Yeah, he could die in Iraq. What does that have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> They're college kids. It's what they do. I know you'd rather see him in his room drinking coke. I don't know that it's the best option, but it's not the worst option. <laughs> it's nothing to yell at him right? about. <laughs> Surprised this is how they're meeting. Yeah. His nephew's got six broken vertebrae. Uh oh. I came to the Bing, remember? I tried to talk to you about it. And I told you to wait, you left. If you back. were around more, you had your finger on the pulse. Problems like this will be squashed in the womb. Whether I'm around's got nothing to do with it. Wow. Everybody get his license plate. <laughs> you figure out how much he owes for the tools, and we're going to deduct that against what you're going to owe for little Polish hospital bills. Look, he's alive. No kidding. Yeah. He tore up my lawn, Tone, drove his fucking car right up on the grass. Who did? Fucking poorly. Who else? Forty grand in landscape. I ain't going to do shit. I'm going to sit tight and hold my tongue and not cause no problems for you. think <laughs> Christopher's actually going to do that. <laughs> Was that Delta Kappa Epsilon? I don't know Greek Roman you, numerals. Uh, sorority girl? No. I don't like girls. <laughs> girls are too obnoxious. Don't come at me, okay? Girls are dramatic. Fuck that. If not, you see this guy right here? Tony Soprano Jr. You know what that means, right? Oh, is that cheering him up at all? I call Salvitro like you said. He's coming by this week, resod the lawn. He's <laughs> gonna have that <laughs> core guy do it for free. You know what? Fuck it. 
whatever he's having. Good times. Salud. Oh, God. He just needs somebody to cut him off. You want to come? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to hang here. Oh, come on. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, they're going to kick somebody's ass? Uh-oh. Hey, you made it. He's like, oh, God, I got to go. It's uh, not a good idea. Well, AJ's driving. What is that? Because Dr. Parisi and me, we're going to do a little experiment. Yeah, we want to uh -oh. see what happens when you mix sulfuric acid with Toja. Fuck no! No! Burn his feet? I mean, you have a kid. That's fucked up. You look back, <laughs> and you're looking at yourself, really. He's wasted. What the fuck? Uh, it's babies. They're the future. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Totally. You realize by the time Caitlin's out of college, it'll be like the year 2027 20, or something? She takes after you. She won't be out of fourth grade by then. <laughs> of course, by that time, she'll be working here, so who gives a shit? <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, right, come on. We're just fucking around. Hey, okay, it's late. I gotta go. <laughs> he can never take a joke. He only he only hears people laughing at him, not at the other people's joke, right? Yeah. He's going to him. <laughs> Is he gonna beat the shit out of this guy? <laughs> God, probably. <laughs> this is like his go-to beat the shit out of person. Me. Mm. Don't He's... open it, dude. Fucking losing it, man. Chris, it's 11 fucking 30. Well, you're awake, though, right? I'm sorry. Your friend, this cocksucker, all these pricks. What are you doing? Making coffee. coffee. I don't want fucking coffee. Urban myth, anyway. Have some water. I don't know about you, but my friends have abandoned me. I've been totally fucking ostracized because <laughs> ostracized. One phone call and it's over. The whole fucking castle comes down whoa, like Humpty whoa, Dumpty. Whoa. Oh jeez. <laughs> the government has got money to burn. Gravano was living large down Arizona, all on that federal tit. All right, let's get you home. I like the sun. Just be closer to Hollywood anyway. Gonna turn into a rat because he's so pissed. Chris, you're in the mafia. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, he did more than beat him up. <laughs> Wow. Christopher's a loose cannon right now. Talking about ratting out, throwing people out windows, shooting civilians. Hey. Hey. Early night, huh? Hmm. AJ feeling better now that he's seen... What happens? I don't know. You are tonight? I met a friend for coffee. Probably why you're still awake. I guess so. Well, the wine will help that. What are you doing? Shut up. I'm wired. I don't know. The adrenaline of kicking somebody's ass? <laughs> More than that with acid on the foot. Yeah, I guess it'd be the adrenaline of torturing somebody? Sweet. I wonder how he's gonna feel when he wakes up and realizes he just killed somebody because they made him angry. Yeah, he didn't feel like they were listening to him. Right. So, yeah. That's fucked up. So what are they gonna do about Christopher? I don't know. Does it keep going from here? He's such a loose cannon. Yeah. 
Eesh. Do you think he might go and form it? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like when he, when Tony called him about the Arab guys, mm-hmm. he kind of knew what Tony was talking He was talking to the Fed, so he's like, oh, yeah. And so I, f- I feel like that is kind of like signaling that it's okay. Right. Yeah, it right? gives him the feeling like, oh, if it's Tony okay to rat people to him, out. Mm-hmm. I can probably talk to him. And then, I mean opening the door there with the mm. disrespect he's feeling and going off the wall yeah so it's rough yeah what else is on your mind after that episode i just want to see how it plays out in the yeah. next episode see how they address it do you think aj's uh getting over his depression mm-hmm. a little yeah. tna I'm drinking what's tna tits and ass yep a little tits and ass to solve everything <laughs> never heard tna before <laughs> <laughs> okay all right all right, let's watch the next one. We watch some more. Yeah, let's watch some more Sopranos. Here we go. <coughs> Always we are dumping here. Caballero, put the ship back in your truck. What? That is huge job. Have a cojón suave. Asbesto. Asbestos. You got the same scam, Phil. So I wonder if we cut you the bullshit. How much you figure your vote on this? 25%. Don't be an asshole. You know there's close monitoring at every fucking landfill. You got a backyard? A pool? Dump it there. It's my only other suggestion. Uh-oh. Christopher was looking kind of squirrely, too. Is he, uh... Yeah. Using again? It's a departed soundtrack's fucking killer. You got it? Yeah, it's good. That was a good soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Just that people like Phil, they're not on that page. Take those roses and stick them up your ass. Stones first. This system's got no balls. Big favor. <clears throat> yeah, got a collapse lung. Never pass a drug test. He's dead. Christopher. We've been in an accident. Old pump and station road. Oh. Well, you're just wondering what they're going to do about Chris. and That's what they did. Honestly, I don't know if Chris would have made it anyways. I don't think he would have. I think it was more of a, mer- yeah, a mer- mercy. mercy killing. Yeah. Christopher's dead. <gasps> oh, my God. Right. Come. What happened? Drove off the road and the car flipped over and. And over and over and over. He's going now. Not Chrissy. Crazy fucking maniac. Nucci Gualtieri died. Stroke on the bus back to the home. Polly's mom. Or aunt. His real mom. I mean, his fake mom, but his real mom. See him die like that. Practically in my arms. Technically in his arms. <laughs> By his arms. The 
biggest blunder of my career is now gone. And I don't have to be confronted by that fact no more. Someone you can count on. I see. Grief is a weird thing. Mm -hmm. I murdered friends before. But this? Oh, geez, it was a dream. I was like, uh, can he tell her that he murdered people outright like that? Was I talking to my sleep? Sorry. Thank God. <laughs> if he outright admits to murdering somebody, she has to tell the authorities. I'm gonna check that. He's been drinking out of that coffee mug for like the last half of the season. It's so hard not to think of Christopher as a child, isn't it? Katie kind of looks like him, which makes it doubly hard. Of course, that's not going to do her any favors when she hits puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he was violent as an adult, his upbringing, but he adored aid. Yeah, he showed it so well by beating the shit out of her time after time. You know the baby's car seat? A giant tree branch came through the window. She would have been dead, Caitlin. Mangled beyond recognition. I told her about the baby seat so she wouldn't feel so rotten. <laughs> In retrospect, maybe not the best approach. <laughs> Hmm. How are you handling all this? The worst part, truthfully, is I gotta sit there with people who are hurt, and I gotta have the long face and the sighing and the platitudes. Maybe it wasn't a mercy killing? I don't know if Christopher would have... It was convenience. Yeah, but I he's almost bit... dying, I guess I'll just help him along. It was better. I don't think he would have made it to the hospital. I don't think so either, but... Uh, one of parts of it is like Tony looked back, saw the car scene, and was like, "This guy is gonna kill." Yeah, he's gonna get somebody killed if yeah. he hasn't killed himself. It was, it was everything. Yeah, all of the things. All of the emotions. Is that Danny Baldwin? I don't know. I don't think so. Like a movie star, Jackie Kennedy. Who is that? His wife. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we really should make an appearance at the other wake. Two for one. It must be very hard for you. I know how close the two of you would become again. Yeah. Not much of a send-off for you. What kind of testament is this to the spirit and generosity of a woman? We're here for you, Paulie. All of her friends are already dead. <laughs> it's tough. Uh -huh. I think he's thinking family. People are coming, and if they don't, fuck them. I got 500 prayer cards. Shh. 357 game. That kid's in my South American lit class. He had his toes amputated. Jesus. Said it was an accident with his car battery. Acid burnt right through his shoe. <laughs> Yeah, super fucking funny. Listen, I need a sweet. So all the guys coming out? No, no, I'm solo. He just, wants, he just wants to get away so he doesn't have to fake being sad. Where's he going? Vegas. You ever Is been it... to Vegas? I've been at the airport. <sighs> no, I've never been to Vegas. I've hmm. never gambled in Vegas. We'll have to go sometime. Take me some time? Sure. I've only been twice. And both times just to watch Celine Dion, so... <laughs> Is his losing streak over? Five red eyes. Nope. Losing streak's still there. Those, are, those look like small bets, though. Yeah. He doesn't have the rest of the family over his shoulder egging him on to right. go big. Why such strong words against the material world? It's interesting watching AJ like, Think. getting his shit back together. You know? <laughs> yeah. Going back to school and having fun with his friends. 
Yeah. Torturing people with acid. Some kind of fucking fun. Hooker. You're a friend of Chris. Yeah. Tony, by the way. Mm. Uh-oh. It's about Christopher. He's dead. What? It's a car accident. Happened a couple days ago. Well, I thought you should know. Who is this? <laughs> call girl. <laughs> His favorite call girl when he came to Vegas? Yeah. How long are you here for? I don't know. Just playing as I go. Christopher have a sister or something? Or? I don't know. No, he was just laying the foundation for her to show interest. Look at my fucking bike! Did you hear this guy? You <coughs> saw it! Uh oh. Fuck you! It's not good. This is not good at all. needs to stop hanging out with those guys. Yeah, he needs to get a new life. <sighs> Told you. Is this the girl that Christopher saw in LA? I don't know. Chris said you two took peyote together. Truth is, I always wanted to try that shit. But I always had all the responsibilities. Allow me to express my condolences regarding your nephew. This is me hanging up. Oh. Phil's right hand man is just egging him on with the grins. Mm. I mean, everything is so fucked up. I mean, why can't we all just get along? He's feeling guilty for what he just did. You just wash it down like a pill. <sighs> Peyote is not his thing. Why would you ever want to take drugs if they do that to you? His way of honoring Christopher is <laughs> experimenting with drugs like he always did. Sleeping with his girl. I know they're going to walk around Vegas looking at all the lights. Same principle as the solar system. <laughs> no. Twenty four. Nice. Twenty. <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> Much appreciated. Is he cashing out or are you betting more? Oh, he's betting yeah. more. The peyote is slowing down the wheel so he knows where it's going to stop. Right. 24. Again. <laughs> he's dead. What? <laughs> what? He uses bad luck charm or something. Oh boy, where oh, are they? Oh no. Jeez, this is not a good idea. Good, yeah, good. Contaminate a whole water system. It's great. Good plan. I get it! I don't. <laughs> He's saying I did it. I get it. I don't get it. Well, okay. <laughs> leaving, a, leaving a lot to think about there. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure there what uh, what's going on. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm.
Peyote. Per- apparently, peyote makes you good at roulette. No, I think that was a bad luck charm. Christopher is gone. Yeah, he thinks it's his bad luck charm. Maybe. Ooh. He won a lot of money, though, on roulette. Sure Holy did. Cow. Yeah. He'll be cashed out after he... They probably had to kick him I, off the table I after I bet they he, said, no. you need to leave, you're, sir. You're cut off. Yeah. Here's your money. We'll cash you out. All right, well, Christopher's dead. Hmm. Just like an episode ago, we're like... What are they going to do with this guy? Well, that's what they do with him. I was actually surprised that he was at that meeting with Phil, with Tony. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I thought it'd be Bobby or Syl. I don't know. Well, Syl doesn't. Yeah, so it's part of the... But yeah, it was weird that he had took Christopher to be his right-hand man for that talk. Yeah, everyone else was busy or something. Yeah. Christopher did look a little squirrely. Yeah, yeah. He, he, was he looked like he there. was on something. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I think Tony put him out of his misery, but at the same time was like... I got This is my opportunity to get rid of him yeah, yeah, without for good. Without dirtying his hands. Right. Without right. 100% murdering him, yeah. just like partially murdering him. I don't think Christopher would have made it to the hospital. I don't think so either. Him. I don't think so either, which is why... I, or at least that's what I'm telling myself to yeah. make it less... Horrifyingly murdery. disgusting. Murdery, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's murdery. It's sad to see Christopher go because he was a great character. Very complex, layered character, yeah. yeah. Great actor. Mm-hmm. Well, only, what, three episodes left? Yeah, we got three episodes left. So, makes sense yeah. that they would start to weed some characters out. Mm-hmm. Reach the end of their story. He was kind of reaching the... the that whole episode before was kind of him reaching the end of his storyline with the family. He was, yeah. Threw one of them out of the window and killed a random guy yeah, just because yeah. he was mad at the other one. Talking about ratting him out, all he had to do was go to the feds and they could bring yeah. them all down. Yeah, he was spiraling. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, and and I feel like his character could only spiral for so long before they, yeah, because I mean, they were just beating that dead horse, you know. That was like the last spiral he could do mm-hmm. before the family yeah. had to take care of business. Yeah, yeah. All right. waiting that whole time when he was. On the stereo. He kept looking down. I was like, God, to get an he's going to hit a yeah. deer gonna or something. They're going to get an accident. They're, they're going to have another raccoon <laughs> across the road. Yeah. And that's how the, I was like, oh, no, it's the stereo system. Tony's been in a lot of accidents. Yeah. At least three in this show. Yeah, there was the one in the first season when he passed out, mm-hmm. right? And then the one with Aid and then the one with Christopher. Yeah. So, yeah. Where was he at that caused him to pass out behind the wheel? He was like on the freeway. Or was he talking to Christopher before that happened? Maybe. He was talking to somebody. He ran into a pole or something. Yeah, he, right? he got mad, ran drove off somewhere, pole. and then drove into a telephone pole. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well, I'll well, be interested to see how they wrap up the rest of these characters in three episodes. See yeah. how they leave it. I'll be sad to see them, all of them go. Yeah, for sure. How do you think it's all going to come to come to an end? I don't want to speculate. Yeah. No. I just want to enjoy the ride? Yep. Just here for it. All right. What should people comment on after these two episodes? Favorite game to play in Las Vegas? Yeah, what's your favorite Las Vegas game? Yeah. And your favorite Christopher scene? There you go. Through, well, barring any flashbacks or dream sequences, Yeah. there won't be any new ones. So let us know your favorite Christopher scene. That's right. For the last six seasons. So. Right. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another two, two episodes. episodes. Last two before the finale. Wow. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Find comment or access to polls. Help us pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. no scraps in my scrapbook. Make it happen. Oh boy. It's not what a scrapbook's for though. No. Howdy folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more of The Sopranos. Sweet. What's going on with all the gabagool and the bada bings and the, you know, Christopher's dead. Yeah. He died. They killed him. Tony killed him.
Yeah. I mean, he was probably going to die anyways, but Tony definitely killed, finished yeah. him off. Yeah. Made sure of it. Yeah. And Tony's relieved. Yep. And that's tough because he, he left Christopher. He did. But he kind of realized that. Christopher was a little bit of a loose cannon for him. It was only a matter of time, I think, yeah. until Christopher did something that... I mean, he just threw a guy out the window there previous episodes. Yeah, so he sure did. I was actually surprised he got a slap on the wrist for that. And like, he killed a, just a random guy. Yeah. Because he writer. was mad at the other people. So, yeah. Well, and he also told that guy that he was thinking about writing out. So, <laughs> he kind of had to kill that secret, too. Yeah. So, well, what's next for the family? I don't know. We're getting close to the end. So, I imagine that there's probably lots of things that they try to touch on. Yeah. Um. But I mean, losing Christopher, one of the the primary characters, is a big, yeah. a big loss there. So yeah, I mean, that also takes that makes Bobby being hit. Like I feel like they were already set. He's already next setting that in up line. for him being next in line. But yeah. with Christopher out of the way, it's Bobby's. Mm-hmm. Right? So yep. yeah. Well, should we jump in and see how these next two episodes go? And for then we sure. Got a finale after that. One more episode. We got three hours of Sopranos left. I so know. Let's get in? into it. Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Sopranos. We're wrapping it up. If you haven't watched any other episodes, go back and watch the Yeah, you got a long ways to seasons. catch up. So, <laughs> and check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full commentary, access to polls, albums, pick what we watch next. We're starting a new show soon, so we might need your help picking it. Ooh. Check it out. Link's down below. Twitter and Instagram if you have it and you want to join us, do it. If you don't, mm, ignore that. Forget about it. Let's watch <laughs> The Sopranos. Good one, hun. Forget about it. I know we've been watching this long enough when I hear the HBO uh, white noise sound, right? Just randomly in your head? No, I. but like when I hear it, I always my brain always starts playing this song oh, afterwards, afterwards, you know? It used to be like, you hear that noise and you hear the, the Westerhouse song. Yeah, Game of Thrones. From Game yeah. of Thrones, but... Now, it's, and now I only hear this song. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then when it doesn't happen, I'm like, oh, <laughs> dang. Oh, yeah, the asbestos. Oh, is that coming back up? Oh, that, that, is that... Must be another place they just dumped it? Yep. Somebody's getting gonna get in big trouble for this. Look at that asbestos dust just flying all over the place. Blowing in somebody's backyard. Don't get you wet and dirty. Trying to catch me white and nerdy. Weirdo. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I'd be pissed. If I had to wake up to that, I'd be so pissed. You don't like that song? I mean, the song's fine, but just like that kind of music, like first thing in the morning. All that bass. <laughs> Freaking hate bass. You are my life, love T. They couldn't fit Tony. I believe that. <laughs> How come they ain't wearing their spacesuits? That's a union rule. If I couldn't run this job without that fucking contract, ain't none of us gonna make any real scratch. You don't got an envelope? <laughs> Jeez, things are kind of going wild in the construction business right now. It's uh, getting lazy. Yeah. And I still feel like shit. Why can't I catch a fucking break? He sounds like Tony. Mm-hmm. I was watching CNN. The story about these kids in some Iraqi hospital. And then they show this story about some mall in Minnesota. This is why we don't watch the news. <laughs> it just makes you feel like shit about everything. Mm-hmm. You think your feelings about Blanca in any way relate to this African boy? She's not black. I mean... She's pretty tan. I mean, they're both minorities. That was the therapist point, but... Yeah. <laughs> we did peyote. Come on. Really? Why we did mushrooms once? Stuffed mushrooms, a whole fucking platter. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe it. Really? And the sun came up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 
You had to be there on peyote. <laughs> I was with your dad and them at the Copa. Fuck a BOAC store to put it in my drink. Storytelling. Jerry Vale started singing, and I look over. Your Uncle June's got a laser beam shooting out of his eyes. <laughs> Meadow had another mystery date. That sounds exciting. <laughs> That's Mike and Nancy's mom and Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Sure is. What is this now? Yeah, it's true. I read the paper. He's got to stop watching and reading the news. Instead, he put something in the microwave. Did he just put something in the microwave? Yeah. It's totally better for you. Tony. 20 years, he won't crack a book. All of a sudden, he's the world's foremost authority. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, like, college kid, right? Go to college. Get you know educated. Now you know everything, and your parents are fucking idiots. And what rough beast, its hour come round at last, slouches toward Bethlehem to be born. Is he going to become a writer? Maybe. That's it? What else would you like me to say? Come on, Phil. What's the problem? I come here in good faith. I make a reasonable account, which I considered and rejected. I ate grilled cheese off the radiator instead. I wanted to fuck a woman, but I compromised. I jacked off in a tissue. You see where I'm going? Yeah. Phil, since he's become boss, is definitely... He's digging in hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said to pull your jobs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck that. Where's our money? I don't got it. There's no job. I'm sorry, guys. Somebody really should have called you. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Oh. Tony Soprano owes you $320. Oh, boy. Go to the mattresses. I was just watching Borat on cable. You can watch that thing 50 times and it's still hilarious. He brings that lady his shit. <laughs> it wasn't fair to the people involved. You loved it when it came out. He all of a sudden has feelings for other people. He's really a buzzkill. Hey, leave that. Okay? Is he listening to what? Enya or something? <laughs> Jeez. When Finn and I split, I cried every day for like a month. She's aging very well. Like, she is looking better and better as she ages, I think. Al Jazeera? Don't you ever feel like there's no point to any of this? Why don't you try setting goals for yourself? Maybe you should move out. All right, in my condition. He's reading the news. He's like so interested in fucking politics and current events. <laughs> Just a shit show. I need mom's cooking. It could mess with my blood chemistry. The cooking that you won't fucking eat because of the cows that get the virus <laughs> shots or some shit like that. You're awake. Who's the... <laughs> Hot dogs with cream cheese inside? Yeah. I made Lincoln Log sandwiches. Maybe later. Mm. He, he didn't turn down. <laughs> <laughs> He's good with processed hot dogs. It's just the beef that is yeah. just really appalling. The fuck are Lincoln Log sandwiches? You know, like, is this a thing in some people's houses? I mean, it's kind of like a... You know, you put ants in a log with celery and peanut butter. I'm going to need an explanation from anybody who eats Lincoln Log sandwiches. I mean, hot dogs, cream cheese sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> He's going to try and kill himself? Rope was too long. He also changed his mind. It's convenient that the rope was too long then. Huh? Help! My arms! They're frozen! Hey, Jay! What the fuck? <laughs> my leg! It's stuck! I'll watch! Come on, baby. You're all right, baby. <laughs> 
Here we are. I'll get him settled. You can come tomorrow during visiting hours. It's lucky Tony's the one that found him. Mm-hmm. Well, he was better for a while. Yeah, that's the thing about antidepressants, right? Like, they're good until they aren't good anymore, and then yeah. they... Well, yeah, I mean, you read all the side effects, it's like suicidal thoughts. Right. right. Yeah. You hungry, T? You want to send the kid for Baja Fresh? Baja Fresh? Baja Fresh? Fucking <laughs> Polly. What did I do wrong? Oh, come on. Don't blame yourself, T. Also, just the imbalance that you pass through your genetics, right? Yeah. Between the mercury and fish alone, it's a wonder there ain't more kids jumping off bridges. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, from this time period to our time period, it just, like, gets worse. <laughs> like, it's not ideal, is it? Yeah. What it means. I have enough on my plate. I don't need you adding to it with your bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Whoops. You didn't get it from my family. That's all I'm going to say. Uh-oh. Blame game. This my father was out front about what was bothering him. Right, with a bullet through your mother's beehive hairdo. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Aren't you listening? He did cry for help. He's lucky I came home and heard him. On some level, he may have known that the rope was too long to keep him submerged. I could just be a fucking idiot. Historically, that's been the case. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. That's This episode is killing me, because there's, like, <laughs> layers of humor and this really horrible topic. Is he still mad? He was never mad, AJ. He loves you. That's so why he jumped in fully clothed to save you. <laughs> yeah, you got a little cream on your mouth there, sweetie. Be happy to add to it. What? Excuse me. Lucky guy, her dad. Must be fun talking her in at night, huh? Is there a problem? The fuck? That is not cool. He's fucking with his family now. What the hell was that? I'm sure she has no fucking clue. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. What? Do you know a guy named Coco? She was out on a date last night and he came over and pulled some crap. What? Coco's a dead man. So, this boy you're dating, this man, who is he? You promise not to start with an inquisition? It's Patrick Parisi, okay? You're kidding me. That's exactly Who's Patrick P Parisi? Patsy? Patsy's which one's Patsy's Patsy? son. Which one's Patsy? Um, the guy that was talking about his two sons. The one with the glasses? Yeah. Patsy? Yeah. Tony killed his brother at one point in time. They never told him. Or he had a twin. Yeah. Patsy. Yeah. Okay. Times you told me you were staying with your friend Kimmy in the city. I suppose you were staying at his apartment. Sometimes. <laughs> Mom, as your favorite patient says, maybe I should put my shoe up her ass. Which patient of mine says that? Mine, Elliot. Your favorite patient of mine? Oh. <laughs> My father was a rabid Untouchables fan. Make of that what you will. It's a good movie. I've not seen it. Kevin Costner. It's on our list. Is the criminal personality conducted by Yoshelson that uh, it concludes that talk therapy, while not only being useless with sociopaths, actually serves to validate them. Why are you smirking? I'm not. Oh, really? <laughs> so Tony was right? It was all bullshit? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Wow, whoa! Sit down. Uh-oh. Go to the mattresses for sure now. <laughs> oh god. Oh boy. I got dead. You think? I don't know. 
He was using illegal drugs in the home. Uh, did it ever occur to you that I might have been self-medicating? No, you were just dicking around, right? <laughs> yeah. You would hole up in that room for hours. Oops. That's why. Just gonna leave it there? <laughs> What's he gonna do with that tooth? Would you like to tell your parents what your grandmother said? My mother? No. <laughs> What'd she say? That it's all a big nothing. What is? Life. I wish I were all right. <laughs> when was this? When she was in that nursing home. You used to make me go see her? I think it's just contagious from her. It, right? It's genetic. I mean... <laughs> Patsy. Tom, yeah. oh, we should have dinner. You know, calm, Donna, maybe the kids. I hear wedding bells are in the air. A little carbine. Is he coming to deliver a message? Yeah, he's the middleman. So you go to Phil. I go with you. Hats in hand. Bend the knees. I don't feel like you should have to apologize. No. In their world, you don't, you don't fuck with no. family you like that. You had with every the, right to shoot them, I think. Right. Shouldn't fuck with the, the wives yeah. and the daughters and the kids. Because I'm a good guy. Basically. I love my family. I don't think Tony's a sociopath. Yeah. He has sociopathic tendencies, but he has too many feelings to be a sociopath. Don't you think? Unless this therapy is just, you know, validating He's just all of faking thoughts. all of this, you think? I don't know. You're the psychology major, not me. Well, I'm, I, just because I majored in it doesn't mean I know shit about it. <laughs> Have you done it, right? Acid, shit like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, No. For pretty certain that this, everything we see and experience, is not all there is. What else is there? Something else. Does Tony Soprano die before this ends? That's very insightful. Well, Jesus, don't act so surprised. <laughs> Just wonder what's going through her mind after her session she had about. I feel like the same thing that's going through mine. Like, He's not a sociopath. <laughs> Phil is not accepting visitors right now. I just talked to him on the phone, but she, he came here to make a peace offering. A semi-trail of drills. Makita's. We don't want your fucking drills. Fuck it. Let's go. This is not good. Will you just come down so we can discuss this? There's nothing left to discuss, Carmine. I don't understand. Why is he like this? They're gonna kill Tony. Yeah, that that's very that was very disrespectful. Not even talking to him through you can't even see him. Yeah. Their business dealings are kaput. Alright. There's been a lot of episodes in hospitals this year. Mm -hmm. This season. Alright? Yeah. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to the mattresses. It definitely feels like that. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like this ends well for Tony. Yeah. Especially with him talking about how, I mean, we know that he's had these near-death experiences, yeah, or he's seen the light, basically, and then now he's talking about his experience with peyote, about how there's more than this. Yeah, well, than this. When he was watching the sun come up, there was that flashes of light that was kind of reminiscent of his experience yeah. in purgatory when he saw the, the I don't like to call it purgatory. I don't like calling it that. You don't? No. But in between? Yeah, that's fine. I don't like calling it purgatory. Okay. Well, I mean, you called Lost Purgatory for six seasons. Yeah, that was fucking purgatory. <laughs> what Tony was experiencing wasn't like... I don't know. I just don't call it that. Okay. Near-death experience? Yeah. Okay. Good uh, episode featuring AJ. Oh, yeah. Yikes. So. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Every parent's worst nightmare. It felt like 
you could see over the last couple episodes, he was very, like, the medication that he was on worked very well in the very beginning. And, and then it was it wearing kept, off, it, yeah. yeah. kept wearing off. It, was well, doing, yeah, but I don't know how, what, you, what you call that, but it was not. Yeah, it just wasn't effective anymore. Yeah. And uh, he's definitely back to being more emotional. I mean, he's reading into everything and... Yeah. Letting everything affect his mood, and so yeah, it's sad to see that. For sure. I was hoping that his doctor would have spoke more at the parent conference that they had. Like he didn't really say much. Well, therapist's job isn't to speak; it's to listen. Yeah. So I felt like he should have gave input to everybody there, and so like say something about what could help him, what could help Carmela and Tony help him. I don't know. It, Again, therapy's weird in yeah. that way that they're not there to give provide answers. Really, they're there to help the individual find solutions or just dig into the problem. I don't. Know, it's very challenging. I mm -hmm. feel for those who suffer from depression and have to go through this. It's rough. Yeah, definitely. Will you have any other? Uh thoughts before we jump into the next episode well, let's jump right in let's jump right in what, what do you think about patsy's son and i like it i mean i don't hate it meadow yeah i don't know anything about patsy's son but i didn't dislike it makes sense that she'd be with somebody from her own subculture if you will yeah somebody that's familiar with the family workings yeah. so he knows what's going on yeah i mean somebody most, understands. most of her other relationships kind of ended because they weren't comfortable with that whole life right so yeah It'll be interesting to see. If they it's go tough to, to bring an outsider into that. <laughs> go to a family double date dinner. I hope I'm hopeful to see that. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's watch the next episode. Let's do it. Let's watch more Sopranos. Let's go. Woke up this the whole thing with Phil is pissing me off so bad, just because like Phil is not even listening to anything that Tony says. No. Not only is he just like disregarding him, but he like. Not even gonna hear Tony out about kicking the ass of the of his, one of his guys. Like, yeah. it was warranted if Tony did that to his daughter, mm -hmm. he'd he'd kill him. I feel right? like Phil's made his mind up about Tony. A couple, yeah, yeah, a couple exactly. Ago. He's ready to in that bar that be, one night. be done with that. Yeah. Fuck you, doing? Scared the piss out of me. Some things. You don't get into over the phone. Watch out for Spencer. Oh, the fucking toy terrier is a ship machine. Toy terrier. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the union guy? I don't remember. I was the guy at the construction job that got beat up or something no no plain and simple we decapitate and we do business with whatever's left they make anybody and everybody over there and the way that they do it it's all fucked up guys don't get their finger pricked there's no sword and gun on the table phil no al chris got blood blood huh? yeah there's no scraps in my scrapbook Make it happen. Oh boy. It's not what a scrapbook's for, though. No. I like the way she played basketball yesterday. I just got my first heart on in like a month. Jesus, what's the meaning of quiet time around here? You should have whispered that. That doesn't look like a good show for them to be watching. Don't get it. Caught him finger banging my cousin on the ski lift. Well, somebody Ooh. said you're modeling. Yeah, I guess. She's cute, AJ. Get her number. Kids in crisis mostly need an environment of calm, no stresses. Do you want this, or I can pop it in the mail? Playing first-person shooters too. That doesn't seem like no non-stress. <laughs> Playing video games is very stressful. Yeah, especially for you. Extremely stressful for me. Believe this fucking letter? This guy's here a lot. <laughs> Make sure the truth. They're in Jordan, right? Getting their balls up? Or you're not gonna tell me? 
I'm not really. I think Roosevelt told Vito Genovese where Hitler was holed up. <laughs> Remember that thing I told you about that was supposed to happen about a year ago? Your problem with Brooklyn? It's on again, possibly. The snitches implying the wheels have already been set in motion. Implying? That's why he's been hanging out. He's been trying to, like, his conscience has been warning. like, do I tell him or not? We can talk to shit show. Talk? Anyone feel like we should run away? We should, like, flee this situation? Yeah. And they have more people in their family than the Sopranos do. Yeah. Is that their way of saying, let's get ready to fight? I guess. Playing around? Tony Soprano, obviously. Plus Silvio Dante, and we think Bobby Bacchieri. That oh, motion is number three. Used to be Junior Soprano's driver. And you used to sell laser printers out the back of your Crown Vic. Who's the rat? And Phil's talking to the... I don't know. Turn that shit off. Cut off the cable. That's PBS. Oh, That's yeah, dang it. I wouldn't work with it. <laughs> All right. So, Bobby and Tony. I want you to call Italy, get some cousins of ours over. Who you want to run the thing? Got it. Got to get some tires for Camilla's car. And now it's like a game of timing. Like, uh, who's yeah. going to be faster it takes time to get across the ocean yeah the talking cure actually helps them become better criminals it was fascinating this uh this he set happened. her up to bring that up did you put her up to this she just happened to mention this study who me <laughs> this is all set up there is a female opera singer and gangster da 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 Elliot. da, da. Tony Soprano? He's your patient? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's fucked up, dude. That was a huge ethics violation. Still, it must be fascinating work. It is. What a cocksucker. Yeah. Who does that? She should sue him for malpractice. Speaking of cocksuckers. Jesus. I just want to make sure somebody knows there could be a line of Cazzarelli's a mile long. Duly noted. Polly's the kind of guy I want on my side if she hits the fan. Right? Yeah. I feel like that guy just found a study that backed up his opinion and he's rubbing her face mm -hmm. in it. There's a study to back up anybody's opinion out there. It's all yours. So Tony told Bobby to deal with it. Well, no. Bobby's... He's the guy that has to talk to the Italians, so... Oh, they're here. Okay. I need more than two guys, I think. <laughs> You get a nice Italian recipe for, for Camilla to bake. In the end, she'll get married, squeeze out some kids. After what, a couple of years in the workforce? I'm still working. Yeah, but you're divorced. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Just, you know, Dr. Soprano. Sounds nice. She's all bottled up. Look at all the people like me you've helped. It's like the the last thing she wanted to hear. She's like, oh, God. I don't think I can help you. I'll change you. Bring in some new shit. I mean therapeutically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, listen, I'm going to tell you something, and you're not going to like it, but we can say anything in Go here, right? ahead. Jeez. I think what you're doing is immoral. Just like the event that convinced her to do this. The ethics violation at dinner. <clears throat> I 
Was that their last session? I think so. And that's not Phil. It's not. I don't think so. DHL Express for Mr. Philip. For senior. Not Phil. It's not Phil. That's just some random old dude. Watching full on porn on HBO. Ukraino. Isso parlava l'Ukraina, o sacce perché cugina ma sa casa. Oh jeez. That's not good. <laughs> Just killed two random Ukrainians. Yeah, it's done. I think the love interest got in the way though. Oh shit. Well, they think it's done and it's not. Not done. How are you? How are you? Good, not bad. Good, good. There they are. Still wearing that dumbass thing. Is it true what she said? She's quitting pre med? Yes, thank God. Yes. We are so relieved. You know what age and. Uh... I mean, it's not just that. I don't know why. <laughs> what? <laughs> and what about AJ? How's he doing? Oh, he's good. He's good. Good. He was trying to kill himself, but he's, he's good. He's better now. A little awkward, though, maybe. Patsy still works for Tony? He's an underling? Yeah, Cupid's dart lands. <laughs> I'm gonna send some limoncellos over in celebration. Great. That was an awkward conversation. <laughs> I think they realized that they hit the wrong guys. Mm -hmm. Draining their pool. Uncle June's finally out of money. But they think that maybe there's some squirreled around, but he can't remember. They tried digging up his yard. <laughs> Plus, with the larynx, he thinks Mario's from out of space. So. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bail him out? We don't have that kind of money. We we contribute. Bobby feels, you know. Right. <laughs> and as for your husband, Janice, exile on Main Street. Don't say that. Uh oh. Does he mean Bobby's out now? <laughs> he put everything in place. His moves on us. He goes into hiding, waits it out. Going to ground, they call it. He's all bunkered up. Exactly. You get word to everybody. Your eyes in the back of your head. Break routines, collections, all that shit. You tell Everybody. Got it. Uh oh. Oh no. He's not getting the call. They grand the whole set, huh? Well, there's other people interested. Oh no. I really like Bobby though. I should have this stuff. Him being the first one hit, though, that's going to send Tony off the rail because he's his brother in law. So that's. What's he going to do? Patsy? Is Patsy going to kill him? No. Yeah, that's them there. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Does Tony know this has all gone down? I don't think so. Bobby's dead. He's shot. Still's in the hospital. What happened? Could be several things. Don't argue. You mean that they're after you? We should split up. Anything I can do? No. You heard? Or maybe I should just leave. It, I'll call you. <laughs> Tony's like, yes, just get out of here. Nuclear material into the country from Mexico in 2002. Oh, great. She's helping. She's helping with the research. Your Uncle Bobby's dead. What? He's dead. He got shot. Uncle Bobby's dead. Yeah. You know, this is really depressing to me. Yeah, your dad's fucking next. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What? He knows what business he's in, right? Yeah. Called the hospital. They wouldn't give no info on self. Yeah, the brother finally phoned back. Doctors don't think he'll recover consciousness. So? Yeah. Look at the stems on Blondie. <laughs> He's riding high. Nice to be young, eh? Where did they go? I don't know. A safe house? It's not his mother's house. Is it Junior's house? I have no idea. Yeah. The place where he almost died, he's hiding out, yeah. trying to not die. We go to our beats? Yeah. I hope he trusts all his guys. <laughs> Is that the that's the gun Bobby got him, right? Yeah. You probably don't even hear it when it happens, right? There's your friend in there on the wall. <laughs> that's the fucking most ominous fucking music I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh boy. No kidding. Holy shit. Well, Bobby is dead. Yikes. And, and it looks like Syl probably Syl, too. Yeah. Doesn't even wake up. Or he's in a place like Tony was right now. Yeah, stuck. Well, shit's hitting the fan. Hardcore. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know the rest of these. of Tony's guys well yeah. enough to feel like New York didn't flip one of them or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, if they were poking around trying to flip Syl, then. Well, that was just the one of the civilians that was trying to like work both sides and find a mm -hmm. butter up thinking Syl might be the next in line to be boss if Tony's taken out so he wanted to yeah. strike a deal with him and Syl made him know that that's not okay right like, taking him out but Phil is in hiding yeah look at that why wouldn't he be right, that's a little uh weak I honestly don't know why Tony didn't go into hiding sooner yeah. like as soon as he heard he should have been guy, hiding yeah. yeah he tried to Strike first, and their strike failed. But what was the information they got? They went to like some random house, thinking that was his. Maybe they went to the wrong. It was supposed to be his guma's house, right? Yeah, I thought so. And don't know. It was the wrong address, and it just happened to be a guy that looked like Phil walking in. I don't know from behind. It's a, it's just a weird. Again, like Polly gave the information to Patsy. Patsy gave the information to that drug dealer yeah. who gave the information to the Italian. So somewhere in that chain. Somebody lied. Or telephone happened and Yeah, but what are the what it's what's the likelihood that a telephone game got fucked up that much and it I think there it was, happened maybe to it was be a probably guy probably the drug dealer's fault. Maybe he I don't was know. To I, I am feeling follow like Phil around and he followed the wrong guy back to that house. I feel like this is like a Polly or Patsy issue. Yeah. And that makes me sick to my stomach too. Hmm. Well Patsy's son was at a restaurant with Meadow. And, yeah. And maybe he gave the guy who said that thing to Meadow information on, like, where uh, Meadow might be to, like, I don't know. spark something. Patsy's the... I don't know. But how, how fucked up of Patsy, too, when his son is presumably in love with Meadow. Man. They didn't shoot at Patsy. Well, they did. They did, but they didn't, but didn't they didn't hit him. Hit him. Um, and, you know, I mean, if Patsy found out about his brother, he'd have an, an axe to grind with yeah. Tony about that, I'm sure. Hmm. I don't know. Just doesn't feel good. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
<sighs> Sad Bobby was the first to go. Yeah, me too. Liked him. I was hoping he would have. He was one of the good ones, I think. I think he was one of the good guys. Yeah. He and Syl were both good good guys. Mm. Well, I mean, they both killed people, but they're good guys. Just one for Bobby. Yeah. Syl killed more than that. but <laughs> This episode. But he seemed to, like, keep his head underwater. Like, he just, yeah. he didn't ruffle feathers. He didn't. Just calm and collected. Yeah. Melfi cut it off with Tony. She was really, after reading that study and yeah. after that dinner, she was, that next session, she was just. I'm annoyed that she all- let. She let them get to her. Yeah. Yeah. And she let that one study dictate all of those seven years with Tony. Yeah. The thing is, she was, you could tell that when she was watching, or when she was listening to Tony speak, she Mm -hmm. was thinking back in her mind about all the things she read. Yeah. And he's like, oh, he's talking about babies. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's faking being sad. And I was like, I think that's. But again, like, yes, uh, I guess maybe a criminal would do those things but a normal human being does those things too yeah. so like what what makes you think that he's normal human beings faint emotions all the time right i don't know so. both could be true so you think we won't see melfi in the finale probably i don't think so i think we've seen the last, the last of her. her i think that scene with her closing the door on him was closing her the final door scene her, mm-hmm. her character yeah so what do you think of them going to the mattresses and camping out the junior's place I don't know. I mean, it's poetic, but, yeah. but I don't. There's not I don't know if many it's a safe them, place. There's not many of them there. I felt like no. There was more four, s- soldiers four of them. for them to, you know, bring mattresses in for. Right? Again, it might be like who, the, which of your soldiers trustful, do you trust? Just the trusty yeah. guys, captains, and their underlings, maybe, mm-hmm. basically. And it, I think it says a lot about Polly that Tony trusted him enough to say. Come help me clear the house. Come yeah. help me. Yeah. yeah. Get all the tools we need to camp down. Yeah. I wonder what they're getting out of. Maybe they're just finding money stashes in the kitchen. They were, they, he was packing food. What was it? Oh, yeah. just food. Groceries. Food. Okay. Well, what else is on your mind before uh, you think about I'm what's inter- next? I'm interested to see how they're going to wrap it up. One, one more hour to figure it all out, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I hope it doesn't end with Tony dying, but I think that's the direction it's heading. Be poetic if it happened in Junior's house. <laughs> yeah. The place where Junior almost shot him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did shoot him. It almost killed him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Favorite Bobby moment. Favorite Bobby moment since we said goodbye to him today. And favorite Sill moment, if you have them. Yeah. If you can remember him. Bobby died in the, his favorite store. Mm-hmm. The train store. Getting a nice train set, too. $1,000 train. That was a nice train. Nice Mm -hmm. and shiny, blue, Mm -hmm. with chrome on it. Beautiful. I like the little model setup. They had like a little Newark station in there that was all going around and stuff. Mm -hmm. And as Bobby fell, the Newark station was right next to him. So Mm -hmm. it was kind of like a little little setup there. Another beautiful moment. Yeah. All right. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week for the finale. Finale. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to polls, up to people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. the cat christopher yep he was catching mice in the basement what's that mean i don't know (laughs) (laughs) you just said it howdy folks we're going back to you me and the tv and it's time for the grand finale the end of it all oh boy the final episode of the sopranos yeah and what's going on? What happened last week? Bobby is dead. Syl has been shot, is likely going to die. Tony and Carmela and, the, Carmela and the kids have left. Tony is in hiding at Junior's house. Yeah. They're just trying to survive until things blow over. So what would end this for a positive outcome for the Sopranos? Like, they have to take out Phil so that... 
Phil comes to do his own dirty work, Tony takes him out you think so? before he can. <laughs> that won't <laughs> I happen. Mean, that, Phil's, they think Phil's in hiding himself. Yeah, so. he is. Yeah. Oh, no, the hit gone wrong. Mm-hmm. Something think, fishy going on in Tony's crew. Somebody, a rat in the crew? I think so. Yeah. I don't want to. Th- I don't want to believe that, but I think so. Hmm. Just can't decide if it's Patsy or Polly. I'm I'm hopeful it's not Polly, but yeah. that would be heartbreaking. Which would be a good way to end the series. I don't think it's Polly. I think it might I be think, Patsy. I think it might be Patsy as well. So you didn't even think it was anybody until I mentioned. Well, no, it I started, th- I started episode. thinking about it, and I was like, yeah. Especially when you brought up and you know the brother thing, which we talked about during that episode, it was like, hmm, maybe start thinking like, well, it was Patsy's son that was at the dinner with Meadow when once his name was Rude, like he went to dinner with Meadow to like put her in that position to be disrespected. To oh, I don't think Tony off. I don't think that you know? was part of the setup. I think that was just happenstance but well should we jump in and see how this all wraps yes, up yes please let's do it well first like comment subscribe come hang out with us for the season finale series finale series finale of the sopranos yeah. check out our patreon link down below for early access to our videos for like commentary access to pulls up big we watch next links down there check it out what let's do this so social media we know yeah everybody know. knows let's do we've it. done this before let's watch the series finale of the sopranos Classic Rock Q1043. Good morning, I'm Jim Kerr. Coming up. Can we flashback episode? I think so. This looks like a flashback, right? Or we went through that day really quick. <laughs> is it possible he knows where Phil Leotardo is? I want to try to avoid any more of my guys. It's a fast day. Yeah. I figured maybe money sent to the Middle East. You're overreaching. He's hoping for a little, I'll rub your back, you rub mine, information. Mm. He's in his hideout van. Are they making stops in known locations? I don't know, but if I were him, I'd be wearing a hat or something. Like a fedora? Exactly. Too, uh, on the nose, I think. She smelled that odor, too. Oh, maybe it's toxic. Maybe we shouldn't be breathing it. It's not toxic. Uh, the owners were what? 90 years old? It's fish. It's just old people smell. <laughs> Wouldn't kick her out of bed for budget cookies. <laughs> I know. Nice work. Yeah, she's a model. She's doing some model. Right, she's a junior in high school. What? Well, she is. And we're going to stand out in the open at a cemetery? There is always a large FBI presence. You should know that at all the funerals you notice them. Uncle Polly, come sit down. Yeah, I'll sit with you. I'm young at odd, right? Oh. <laughs> hey, we were discussing dream girls. You see it? Well, you people are fucked. Fucking terrorists. It's more noble than watching these jack off fantasies on TV of how we're kicking their ass. He's the fun guy at the party. No shit. <laughs> and then what do they get? Bling? Come ons for shit they don't need and can't afford? You're all over the place. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> AJ cares about too much. We're gonna meet Paul down the hospital visit so You wanna come? Nah, I got, uh, that shit I gotta do. My daughter. Yesterday was his gout. I mean, can you blame him for not wanting to leave the house? No. I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe we can't go back. Are you out of your fucking mind? No, I know. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I said I hope. <laughs> Hmm. 
Feels leaving all of his guys out on a limb. Need to snag another husband. You're the only one who realized that's a joke. You had to grow up in our family. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort with Sophia. Baking together, I think we actually have a bond. <laughs> I put Ma and all her warp shit behind me. Oh, good. <laughs> I, said, I get any thanks for it. Oh, jeez. Sounds like Livia right there. I don't get any thanks for it. He's lambed out. He may not be able to put his hands on a clean cell phone. All right, listen, thanks. Really. All right. Colleague? She looks familiar, yeah? Yeah, colleague. Oh, she's a friend from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. He got information from her? Mm-hmm. Advertising signs that con you into thinking you're the one. That's oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking course. This could be a mistake. I know. We're hey, good friends. In your nerves is it's mostly just illegal at this point, right? <laughs> He's like t 20, right? 19? 20 something, maybe. Maybe she's an older junior. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this car on fire? Yep. Oh, Christ, I parked and leave. Honey, put your shirt on. My gas tank was practically in. What the hell started that? Her cigarette? Oh, did she throw it out the window? I don't know. I didn't see the leaves. You can grill fucking steaks on that converter. Oh, uh, no. Mm, just, just a hot, hot engine because he had it on. Playing in those leaves, you'd have run them over. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You'll mind your own goddamn business. Unless you want some of this too. <laughs> Is that what you have insurance for? Oh, excuse me? You're not getting another one. Actually, that's good. It'll force me to take the bus. What? We have to break our dependence on foreign oil. <laughs> Tony's face. <laughs> You're not part of that family. You're basically retired. Everybody trusts you. What I'm thinking, you'd supply a neutral location. I could do that. Is this little Carmine? I think so. So the FBI is monitoring his phone calls? Hey, George. Hey. Nope. Here. Somebody else. No, yeah, there's Lil' Carmine. We got a dead Guma in Queens and our old Ukrainian father. Oh, what's yeah. this Guma? Well, that explains a lot then. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Wasn't Patsy. <laughs> you got my word. We'll back off. My price is you help us get a location on Phil. I can't go there. Well, you do what you gotta do. You hit my brother-in-law. So? This is my sister we're talking about. She's gotta see something out of this. We'll come up with a number. This is over from the rest of the family, but Phil's still at large. Right. right? That other guy that was sitting at the other head of the table that looked like he wasn't sure about everything. But maybe he was a neutral Wait, party? He was the one that's retired. Oh, okay. These are snakes with fur. You old Italians will tell you. You can't even put them around the baby. <laughs> Polly doesn't like cats. What did he say? I can't. <laughs> Bobby and my baby. Janice. Bobby's dead. Ambassador Hotel. You're Bobby. Bobby Bacalari. He had no idea what was going on. Nope. He was inveigling him. She's after his money. 
No, she was just... Fucking let her be after his money. Who cares? He doesn't have any money. She knows that, too. She wasn't after his money. She was just telling him about Bobby. Yeah. Cleanse or something? Because it was a polluter. No. I'm just watching it go. (laughs) My seat melted. I had been in it just a few seconds before. Is he a sociopath? I don't know. Carlo! Uh Uh-oh. That was kind of like the time he went in there and the Virgin Mary was on the stage, right? (laughs) Carlo didn't show. And he don't answer his phones, neither. I'll call you back on a prepaid. Which one's Carlo? The older guy with the white hair. Miss Hunter! Long time no see! How are you, Mrs. Soprano? Oh my god, when was it? Season one. Yeah, I don't think we've seen her since... Maybe maybe season season two. two. Yeah. So what are you up to now? I'm in my second year of med school. Oh. Oh, shit. I just got my act together. Yes. Uh, they're going to be here, Meadow. <laughs> I do not want to talk to you anymore. And the vet looks at his face and he says to him, my friend. A horse goes to the doctor. The doctor says, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the simplest joke, too. <laughs> Even got into starting salaries. He was talking 170. Jesus, sweetheart. That's fantastic. <laughs> They're getting serious here. Is the cat Christopher? Yep. He was catching mice in the basement. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it. What are you, what are you... I don't know because Christopher was. Lo- I don't know. Maybe Christopher would be sniffing out a rat. Yeah. This fucking animal's history today. Pick him up. Polly so, never liked Christopher that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him staring at that dead kid. Gives me the fucking creeps. Tony said he's a good guy. Ah, oh, he can stay. He's a good guy, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm no spring chicken no more. I don't want to have me dying on you, leaving you worse off than before. Oh, you with the dead thing. <laughs> All right, sure. Go ahead. I'm probably just wanting more business. Yeah, exactly. This is weird, right? What the fuck's the deal? <laughs> Get in. I'm gonna join the army. What? Great. I gotta do a Rhiannon first. Rhiannon? What about your mother? Her too. Are you nuts? I think this is a great idea. The army's probably good for my career. You don't have a career. Right. Exactly. (laughs) Was this her idea? (laughs) On the other hand, I'm thinking maybe he could benefit from the training. The discipline? Exactly. They almost yeah. sent him to military school. Yeah. But can he, I don't think he'd be able to, because of his fainting, his anxiety. Would they... Well, I did not have a very happy childhood. No? There was little love in the house. So now we're making it about Tony? Yeah. You see, I never could please my mother. Oh, jeez. He misses Melfi. <laughs> We talked about that. Yeah, you said you wanted to be a lawyer for black people. Oh, that's all I said. (laughs) Well. If I hadn't seen you dragged away all those times by the FBI, then I'd probably be a boring suburban doctor. So you traded this, Tony. Bye bye, pop pop. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye. Bye -bye, Oh, geez. Promises to call Dr. Iaconis. I should get a 60 day supply of the planet. He found him. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Phil's taken care of. Yo, Beak, only a Tarno got popped. Damn, you're gonna win this thing. <laughs> he thinks he's in the Soprano family now. He likes Tony. Okay. He looks just like his dad. Weren't that fucking robe? I don't understand. You're gonna ask the Donald for some time off from your pilot job to go on CIA missions? Everything's a joke to you. <laughs> I'm applying for officers candidate school. I want to be a liaison officer with the local population anyway. There's lots of plans for when he's done. And they're all a bunch of different things. Point is, I talked to Little Carmine, and he's interested in developing it to his company. You would work for his producer, Inga. You would be, what is the word? Development executive on this project. Script reader. Run out past Rahuni. See what she says. Rahuni. <laughs> Rhiannon. Yeah. I think I think it's interesting that somebody's giving grand jury testimony on something. Oh wait. So Carlo has flipped. We don't know. The subpoenas are flying. Lord, and if Carlo starts talking homicide, fuck it. Fucking ketchup <laughs> bottles. Grab the knife. He's just watching the tits. <laughs> Tony knows where he's at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, but Jesus, you got Richie April, Ralphie MIA, Vito, and who knows what the fuck with Carlo and Gigi. Gigi died taking a shit. Doesn't mean it's not part of an overall pat. He's superstitious. Yeah, it's cursed. I moved the picture. The fucking thing came to the new spot. And stay. He's Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up at the safe house, trying to be part of the family. Yeah. One time at the Bing, I was alone to meet Eddie Lynn. I saw the Virgin Mary. Why did you say something? Fuck strippers. We could have had a shrine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you something deep in my heart, and you laugh it off. <laughs> I live but to serve you, my liege. <laughs> and there's no real public transport out here. But I said, no more SUV. That cat's totally Christopher. Mm-hmm. Now he's got a BMW. No more SUV. So he likes his new job, I would take it. Not depressed anymore. It's not a school zone. He's speeding. <laughs> Build a new spec house. That one that they were oh, living yeah. in, the old people smoke. Holston's is the consensus. All right, I gotta see some people. I'll meet you there. He's looking at the light of the sun. I think he's looking for ducks to come home. Sir? Sir, excuse me. He's actually going to go see Junior? People keep asking me. I don't know. There's a man from another galaxy that came here. It's your accountant. <laughs> You don't know who I am, do you? You remember Johnny? Johnny boy? Your kid brother? You two ran North Jersey. We did? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Tony's not a sociopath. He wouldn't get emotional. If he was. He forgave him there. Yeah, I think he realized, oh. He's gone. He's maybe he didn't mean to kill me, right? <laughs> like. Yeah.
That was beautiful timing. Onion ring. Back to the state, boys, I'm concerned. Oh no. Been there. Reminds me of you. Like every fucking time I try to park. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. Focus on the good time. Don't be shocked, can't you? Isn't that what you said one time? Try and remember the times that were good? I did? Yeah. Well, it's true, I guess. That is such an easy spot to hit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are there, like, multiple people here to kill him? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you fucking kidding me right now. That's how they end it? Mm-hmm. Now, the only thing I ever known about the Sopranos was how it ended. This this exact, this horribly shitty way it ended. The final shot, this final frame. That he looks up and he cuts to black. Oh, gosh, it just leaves the viewer up to so much um, storytelling in their mind. I think it's to imply that Tony was just shot. And I feel like, what was it? Um, when Bob, remember he was t- remembering what Bobby th- said on the boat? Do you think you hear it? Like, do you think you hear it when it happens? And they were talking about, I don't know, ask the, the guy, they were fishing at the time, ask um, the guy on the wall. I think he was talking about it. Do you, the, do do you, you hear, hear the, the shot? gunshot, or does it you. hit you and you don't have time to hear yeah. it? Oh God! So Tony looked up, saw Meadow. Saw Meadow, in. and that guy shot him at the exact same time. We don't know who it was because there was a. It could have been the two black men that just came in. There it could they, have been the guy that went to the bathroom, or the guy that sitting at the booth by himself just got a coffee. Yeah. I don't know. They looked at him weird too. I guess that was the point, though, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to, because, I mean, they used a bunch of different people to do hits throughout the mm-hmm. whole series, so it makes you wonder, who was it? I mean, the, it's Godfather-like to go into the bathroom and then come back out. Yeah, right? very. Mm-hmm. Ugh, wow. Ugh. I'm not, okay, I'll take back that it's a shitty ending. Not a shitty ending, just a... Yeah. It leaves a pit in your stomach sort mm-hmm. of ending. Yeah, I just remember I was in film school when the finale hit, and so I heard all about how um, how it ended. So I, it's the only thing I ever knew about The Sopranos was how it ended. I don't know how, how the road we got to here. So Wow. Makes you wonder, though, who? I think that's the big debate, is who... Who ordered it? Yeah. Who carried it out? Because Phil was just taken out. They just had that meeting with the other New York guys saying, this is it. Mm-hmm. You can take out Phil. I don't care. I'm just not going to tell you where it's at. Yeah. Right? We're, yeah, we'll squash this. Or was that all just uh, for show and they were still going to take out Tony and then I don't know. deal with the pieces? Yeah, I guess that's the point. You know? You're not supposed to know. Wow. Yeah. There was just a uh, commercial during the Super Bowls featuring AJ and Meadow, mm-hmm. though. That was just... It was the, it, it hugging. Was, it was <laughs> the, the intro. It was the intro. And then they're driving up, like a they, Chevy. I think they pulled up to like Satriel's or whatever. And Satriel's and got something at the very end or something. I don't I can't remember where they pulled up to, but they yeah, pulled they, up in it a, was Chevy a Chevy commercial. In yeah. like a Suburban, I think. Yeah. What t- Tony drove. So. And then like, yeah, hooked. That's it though. So. Um, a little... So I feel like I picked up what they were throwing down with the whole AJ wanting to go into the army thing. Like it was almost paralleling. Right, being a part of a family is like yeah, being part of it's the like, army. It's like Tony talked about army. how he he's a soldier. Right, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all soldiers. So I, that was kind they of interesting life, how right? how 
AJ was talking about wanting to be a you know soldier of sorts. Yeah. Tony never wanted the the mafia family life mm-hmm. for him, but then he still wanted to be a civilian, you know, soldier, right? Mm-hmm. Go from a civilian to a soldier in that in that sense, the legal way. And Tony's like, no, that's exactly what I do- never wanted for you because that's what we are. Yeah, right? kind of thing. interesting. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like the perfect painful ending because. Yeah. They're wrapping everything up in like this nice tiny tidy bow, right? His thing with Junior is pretty much yeah. I mean, he, he understands see, now, he so he squashed that. That he's gone, like he, he, he yeah. Mean, he walked away from that, knowing okay, I'm, no I'm good to here. Hold a grudge yeah. anymore against him because he's exactly. And then Meadows gonna be getting married and getting yeah, gonna be a lawyer. So her like her life's on the perfect trajectory that he would want yeah. for her. Like and AJ's, AJ's got, got his this. shit together, I guess. He's yeah. not depressed anymore. Carmela's got a pro- new project to work yeah. on. Like, everything's like a nice, tidy bow. Other than the fact that they probably just witnessed Tony getting shot right in front of them. Right. And then he is taken. Yeah. Probably. I'm still trying to figure out who was the most likely person. Like, they went to that diner, and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. It wasn't like a. A regular place that they go. They've never been no, to that diner. No, we've never before. seen them there. So, who knew they were going to that diner, or who would have known? I don't know. And how come they made such a big deal about Meadow not being able to parallel park? Because she, so she wouldn't be sitting next to him when it happened. That was just to get her out of the way. Couldn't they have just gotten all of that done sooner? Like, it, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're right. Because I'm guessing it was the guy from the the, the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. For sure. He came in with AJ. He walked in in front of AJ. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I'm just trying to think. I, I almost think it maybe it was Patsy. I know. that's Because I... Meadow would have told her boyfriend, and maybe Patsy called maybe his son, said, and he just brought up, oh, they're, Meadow just left for such and such, and he called in a quick hit to revenge for his brother or something. I don't know. So. Gosh, so many... Different so possibilities coming like New a York. choose your own ending. Yeah. Could have been. I mean, Polly was. I don't think Polly would have done it though. I don't think he was so. Just being really squirrely. I think it was just superstition. Yeah, right? it is superstition. That whole shot, the squirrely. whole scene with Polly walking into the being, and it was kind of it was the exact same shot setup as when the, he saw the Virgin Mary, Mary but mm-hmm. she wasn't there that time, and it was kind of haunting, and he felt it too. It was like, yeah, he's like, uh, I gotta go faster. She, no, she's gone now. So does that mean bad omens? Oh, you thing? think? So, mm-hmm. but in the end, he took the job. So, or maybe it was Carlo because Carlo's been missing the last two days. Yeah, they thought so he went to hiding. And Carlo flipped a, though. Why would he set up a hit if he well, flipped on him? Thought he flipped, but maybe he went into hiding because he set up a hit on Tony or something. The lawyer said eighty got, to ninety percent sure he'll be indicted. Yeah, well, maybe maybe Carlo was just flipped. So, but. That's, yeah, that was Carlo, not set for sure. Carlo flipped because his son got caught. Got caught. So he had he to, said, yeah, try to make it better for his son. They okay. he bartered a you deal with the feds, sure. who said, "Hey, you you give us something. You flip on Tony, we'll go easy on your on your kid, right?" Yeah. Like that's probably that's why they brought up the whole deal. But when Tony had that conversation with Patsy, well, when they were having that conversation at the family dinner, when Patsy's and yeah. When they it was were an awkward meeting. dinner. It was very awkward, and Patsy had some weird looks on his face. Yeah. But that would be weird to kill the father of the daughter your son's about to marry. Yeah, not an ideal marrying, sort of right? situation. Mm-hmm. Unless he just didn't want Tony as a father-in-law for his son, Kath, right? Could be. Just because he knew what Tony was capable of. I don't want this guy ruining my son's life. Yeah. Do so you think Patsy's now the boss? I don't I don't know. No, Polly, duh. Polly's the boss now? Maybe. I can't remember the guy that took out uh, Phil's name, though. He could have been. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's not a captain, though. I mean, the only captains left were Patsy and Polly. Polly. And, mm-hmm. I mean, Syl in the hospital. So, theoretically, Syl would. Yeah, he was he's... acting boss when Tony was in the hospital. If he were to wake up and survive, right. I feel like he would have the most. Allegiances to him. Doesn't seem like he was gonna survive though. Yeah. They didn't. You didn't see him die though. 
Nope. And Tony's last little moment with him was kind of like a hopeful of, well, maybe he'll pull a Tony and pull out of it kind of thing, right? I don't know. Oh, boy. Choose your own ending. Yeah. And I'm sure everybody's got a theory. Yeah. What's your theories? What happens next in the Soprano family yeah. after Tony's gone? Well, we all know that that cut the black. Right. The cut the black's got to mean that Tony's gone, so. It could. Yeah. yeah. Or could it be something else? I mean, it could be something else, but yeah. you're probably right. Yeah. It makes the most logical sense. And apparently you can't hear it. But at least it, I think it's beautiful that the last, you know, his last moment was. Looking up happy, at his daughter. Looking yeah. up at his daughter, happy. Happy with his family. Yeah. yeah. So. Exactly. I, that's why it's like a, it's a, a horribly bittersweet, bittersweet yeah. sort of ending. All right. Well, how do you enjoy the ride? Six seasons of The Sopranos. It was great. I mean, I loved I loved yeah. it. It was it, a really fantastic show. A mix of everything. Really. Yeah. Action, drama, comedy. It seemed like each character, they gave you reasons to hate them and to love them all mm-hmm. at the same time. Like, there are these very horribly faulted humans, which mm-hmm. I think is just perfect. Because we are. I mean, we are yeah. exactly what all of them are. And somehow you manage to love them and like them and cheer for them. Yes, cheer Even for them and do horrible and things. Episode after want to find the redeeming qualities in them. Yeah, yeah. it's a very interesting. Yeah, it, the show is more than just like a TV drama, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely um, played with the dynamics of family and friendship and loyalty. And yeah, I mean everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, who was your favorite character after it's all said and done? Other than Tony. I know. I was going to say, I think Tony, right? I mean, Tony's the cop out. Um, Everybody can say Tony. Unless you hate Tony for some reason. I mean, he's a horribly flawed human being. <laughs> yeah, so it, yeah. it'd be easy to hate him. Um, but it's also so easy to love him. Because at the end of the day, I don't think he's a sociopath. There you go. I think Melfi was wrong. Um, oh gosh, favorite character. Honestly, Carmela, I think. Which is so weird because she's so annoying sometimes. <laughs> I think every character probably had their uh, absolutely. That's what makes phases. the show so fantastic. Right? Everybody, like, God, geez, at on. one point in time, every single character you've been like, God, I freaking hate them right now. Except for maybe Bobby. I don't think Bobby ever had. Yeah, Bobby was a great guy. A negative. I I, I can't think of a a scene where you're like. Come no, you're on, right. Bobby. I absolutely loved Bobby. There was not a time where I was like, "What the fuck are you doing, Bobby?" I even love this train hobby. Like, he's, yeah, he's a fun little guy. Yeah, he's fun, a good guy. fun little big guy. Right. And he only had, had that one. That one kill, one and you felt kill. bad for him when he did you know it. He felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> and him so Bobby's your favorite. Stuck up for Janice character? when Tony was no. Polly's my favorite character. Really, I just love Polly. He just entertained me every time he was on the screen. So I found him so obnoxious sometimes, but yeah. that's the point, yeah. you know. And I liked Christopher for how complex he was. I feel like Christopher was more of a monster than Tony was. Yeah. I think Christopher had more demons than Tony did, too. Yeah. So. Or at least a tougher time fighting him. Right. I mean, Bobby's in my top three. Yeah. For sure. I would, I would agree with that. And then Syl was always fun. I liked Carmella because she rode this crazy train with this man that she clearly loved. Mm-hmm. And this family that she loved. And she came in and out of love with him throughout the the journey, which... I think is probably accurate of most marriages, right? You, the falling in and out of love, I'm sure, happens. Not, not us, oh, okay. obviously. <laughs> you fallen out of love with no, me and never. fallen back in love? What, what did I do? I don't remember this. But, I mean, yeah, I something understand. that yeah. lots of marriages go through, yeah, right? The, the patches, yeah. And then, I mean, she has ex- such extreme loyalty for him mm-hmm. and their family, which I just think is, considering that he cheated on her the entire time i hate that about her and i love that about her mm. i hate that she stuck with a guy who cheated on her the yeah, entire I fucking mean, time she knew the life that she was getting into though does that make it okay though no but she, well, she knew he was gonna be fucking other I people mean, she so. knows like when they're when like janice is talking about how uncle june and his guma i mean they knew all about gumas and all that kind of stuff so like I know, but I think at the end of the day, when you marry somebody, when you marry somebody, even if you understand that the lifestyle typically has gumas, you're hoping that all of them are like Johnny Sack, where they're the one that that is truly 
not sleeping with anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> loves you I think that much that they won't sleep with when they were getting back together wasn't that he would never cheat again it was that because before that he wouldn't that, do it in yeah it didn't affect her life right. before that that he'd keep it on the deal she yeah, was yeah. getting it rubbed in her face a lot yeah and since then there he never let it yeah i know never, that was their agreement when they got back together so. and again another reason why i love carella and hate her all at the same yeah. time i don't know a lot of strength in saying okay i get it yeah i will love you enough to Stick with it. Even and also, if- it's interesting that you talk about their compromise. They had, Tony had these moments of cheating, but also Carmela had these moments of getting that close, right? Yeah. With well, the I priest, mean, yeah. with Furio. Mm-hmm. Those two moments. Was, I mean, but they were conscious. They were there at she, every time she had moments were around, of, so. but, yeah, of emotional. Of almost emotionally cheating yeah. or ha- or emotionally cheating yeah. on Tony. Mm-hmm. But that's because Tony was not able to provide for her that emotional connection that she was seeking at the time. Yeah. Because then, he was so wrapped up in his own emotional needs mm-hmm. um, and physical needs, obviously. I don't know. I, that's, why, that's what yeah. makes this show so well, fantastic. Then you, you think about it, they separated. Yeah. She had her little fling with the, mm-hmm. you know, advisor... And then when they got back together, she was totally committed to Tony again. Like, both of them, they had this compromise, and they both met it. And there was not really any other romantic drama in their relationship outside of just, you know. Correct, yeah. Their own, you know, domestic yeah. stuff that they had to deal with. They had their fights, but there was not another. Okay, so they both had their own infidelities yeah. in their own way. Sure. There was no longer any emotional cheating that they were punching each other with because mm-hmm. there was in those first four seasons right right so anyways yeah complex characters yes all of them fantastic writing aj do you think aj here's an interesting thought did aj go into the family business or do i don't you think, think so he stayed on the straight and narrow path Going up I would not trail call. Of, I would not say straight and narrow because who the fuck knows what AJ is going to do. But I don't think he has it in him to be part of the family. Family. Yeah, I almost feel like maybe this job he got led to him being a crazy horse club manager. At by the time that commercial rolled around the Super Bowl this year, could be. Yeah. Or he's maybe he's he's what Christopher wanted to be. Maybe he's a screenwriter. Yeah. In LA, <laughs> Tony didn't want. Christopher to be a screenwriter, <laughs> yeah. and AJ ended up becoming one. Could be. Christopher was his son this whole time mm-hmm. until Tony killed him, and then at the very end, AJ finally became his son and took his, you know, and Christopher's his, role, if yeah, you will. Yeah. As okay, Christopher always wanted to do this. Here now it's yours, and I'm actually it's wanting a, you yeah, to do it's, it. Yeah, it's interesting. But it's also be, I think Tony didn't want Christopher to. Tell his stories that Tony right. didn't want to be a screenwriter. He yeah, yeah, exactly. His secrets to come out on, on the screen in the script. Yeah. So AJ doesn't have any of that other than well, what, just he might hear down the hallway kind of thing. Beat by his dad yeah. a few times. I thought that was an interesting um, parallel as yeah. the season came to an end. It's Christopher had always, from season one, he was trying to write these scripts. And then mm-hmm. at the end of it, here's AJ just driving a BMW around and being the production assistant. So I think what. Obviously, it makes this one of the greatest shows of all time. Mm. Is that, besides what we've already talked about, is that its rewatchability has got to be extremely high. Yeah. There's going to be little details that you catch. Exactly. Like, there's so much. Because just if you think back, you could see little things they set up that get paid off seasons later. Yeah. Right? And little. I don't know, those poetic moments that you're maybe not paying attention to at the time. I know for me, first watch through, there's lots of times I was just watching things surface level yeah. and not seeing the deeper. So people who have given me shit about missing all of these beautiful, amazing things, it's because I'm watching it for the first time. You're watching it for probably the, multiple, the third or fourth time. And I'm excited to watch it again yeah. in the future to pick up on those little behind the surface. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, watching it for a surface level, picking up on some stuff. Mm-hmm. The stuff that's laid thick, and like, then the other stuff that's nuanced and and beautiful is uh, that I'm missing. Like I apologize. One little detail that I remember recently because I just edited the episode last week with Christopher or two weeks ago with Christopher Death. If you remember when he got made, that crow showed up in the window. 
Yeah, like the vaguely. Mor- the morning after Tony woke up after killing him, like you heard Chris was- out the window. Oh. So it was like a callback to when he Christopher made the, the, became yeah, a made man. Yeah, hmm. Christopher thought he was cursed because he saw the crow. Right. And then they brought back the crow monta- or motif, and you could hear it. In See, the I mean, shit like that that's yeah. there, but if you're not if you're not looking for it yeah. or you're just not it's paying just a little closer detail. attention, sometimes it's just small little details like yeah. that, like the ducks, like the fly, ducks flying yeah. over the lake. At, Again, some kind of, of those things they lay a little thicker, so mm-hmm. it's easier to to pick up on even on a first watch. But some of those things are a little bit more nuanced. You know, I was really hoping Tony was going to mow some people down with a gun. Bobby got him. I know that gun never really. That came was not into... really a payoff, right? No, it's kind of like Chekhov's gun that never gets shot. Yeah, that was a bummer. Darn it. Yeah. Well. Well, what should people comment other than their theories on how it all like any other? What's your favorite character? Yeah. Sopranos. Let us favorite know overall character. Yeah. And give us a breakdown of why, you know? Yeah. Let us know why. Let us know why you love the Sopranos. But we're not done with the Soprano family. No? Oh? We have the Many Saints of Newark to watch next week. It's the movie. It's a prequel movie about Tony's dad. Prequel. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So, I think it stars the actor who played Tony's dad in all of the flashbacks. Very cool. All right. So, yeah. Well, it'd be nice to have a little prequel action. I thought yes. you were going to say that they like wrap up what happened to Tony. But no. No. Well, maybe there's a you know special flash forward scene that shows mm. some, some aftermath stuff. But I don't know. I wonder, I'm, I'm just wondering if Polly will show up. Cause he was I'm sure. Back then, yeah, I'm so sure. It'll be interesting to see. I think a younger Tony, of course, will be around. So, cool. as a kid, so well, can't interesting wait. to see that movie how it plays out. Yeah, right? keep it rolling. Yeah, so get ready for that. Thank you to everyone who watched yeah. this whole freaking series with yeah, us. Thank you for from beginning going on to the end. ride with us. This was fantastic. In I can't. New Jersey. I'm actually excited because now I'll be able to when I don't know what to watch on watch TV another, at night. I can just watch rewatch through. some Sopranos. And because it was a fantastic freaking show. Yeah. I'm, I can't say best of all time, but I can see why everybody does. Yeah. Or why, why so many people do. Get yourself some gobble and turn on the Sopranos. Yeah. It's a good time. Love it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already. And come back next week for the... Yeah. It's Many Saints of Newark. And uh, get ready for the next journey. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want to help us pick the next journey. Ooh. Poll. Or you get early access, full and commentary, and all sorts of stuff. Check it out. It's down there. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.